Dude, come on. What? We told we talked to you about this. We really did make we made a point to have you not do this anymore. No, dude. It's racist. Oh! You know, By I was thinking way. about is how I I feel like I have I I'm into like Elon Musk type humor. So that was what the is cringiest? Thing what does that said. mean? You're into it. I'm you replacing <laughs> you with Ted today. <laughs> yeah, we actually just have the Charizard version of you well, right next to me. You are Charmeleon. <laughs> no, it's well, like it's like we Charmander. like having me here. I it's think like, you're I'm a char. He's a Charmander. Good addition. Good addition to the show. Hey, if, if your voice was a little bit higher, you'd be the Charmander. I'm just a hollow nick. He can use fly. <laughs> hollow. Yeah, I'm hollow. <laughs> <laughs> if, if they put me in Family Guy. That's like kind of how it would sound, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Voiced by was it Steve McFarlane? What's up? We're Seth McFarlane. Is this Seth? Steve McFarlane. <laughs> Steve. We call him Steve. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. Welcome minute. back to the you yard. Hold intro. on. Something smells like poop, and it's not me. What? It's not me. Wow. I don't think Dude. the mic picked that up, but it's a role reversal. Honestly, just throw in Archie a big fart so it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have never done that, by the way. I've never patted my farts. What's up, Welcome to the Art? We're here with the Charizard version of Nick, Ted Nificent, which I called you Ted Nivision oh. unironically, yeah. like so many times to myself. As many as many do. And, and I heard that you hate that. I don't necessarily hate it. I think it's mostly because people online, they always read it that way. I think it's because they, they misread it as my name having like fucking the word vision in it. They think my name is a play on the word television. I thought so too. That's what I, I thought. I am yeah, the I, normal I, audience. I'm yeah. one of them. No, I think that that is the majority of people. You're not enjoying Which, what's going on over there? I think, keep it up. What happened? You it don't... smells like poop. It's your... your... It's your own your fart. fart. You ripped your own fart. You're, How do we you're know? reaping Enjoy. the consequences of Show your own actions. Show me the proof. Show me the goddamn proof. We literally we have a video. We have video evidence. Look at this yes. witch hunt we going on here. A, we have a See what I have to mic. deal with? It's a bunch of... Is this, is this the what you're going to do? You're going to make an allied situation already? Hey, fellow <laughs> streamer YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going over there? Hey, what's up, fellow... Uh, um, coattail rider. I'm nice. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we have no more skills. You have no one. Guys, You've sorry. got no he one. Has the most followers. It's I have to. I have to play the game here. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just acquiesce. If you combine our three followers, we're close. <laughs> no, we're not close. <laughs> no. Sorry, we're... I cut you off. You, 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 you. Ne your name is weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little funky, <laughs> little fresh. Name. The family Have name? you had space online yeah. to air out your grievances about people calling you the wrong name all the time? Um, I mean, I suppose I could go online and just start screaming at people. You got it right here. That's what I'm kind of telling you. Is yeah. Like, feel free to like. Yeah, because it's like your first time like with a podcast platform. You know, it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, You've like, never you been use... on a podcast before. Yeah, I've never had this sort of first time on a, first time on a comedy Think podcast. I oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we try to guess nice here. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. Now, really great. The relationship, if you don't know, Ted, between oh, me like that one, Aiden? and my cohorts <laughs> is that uh is that I show up yeah. and they do everything barely. else. Barely I, I barely show up and they Tell do them, everything bro. else. They meaning mostly Nick. I got here, I had to drive an hour to get here, and yeah. you were still late and you live in this, You're this not building. Wrong. I'm bringing this up because I think you you deal with double this on a on a weekly basis, right? Oh, like the, the shit talking? Yeah, because you set up... Well, no, you set up your pod. Mm -hmm, You're indeed. like the the man behind it. And I imagine... Is Schlatt like me? Uh, how do you mean? Like, does lazy, he do literally nothing except for show up? actually a lazy person who, like, just thinks he's no, actually above the world and Not. wields the clout <laughs> that he's gotten <laughs> through through these couple of years well, of some sort of right now. <laughs> gigantic broadsword yeah, well, that like a, cannot be like beaten. Whole Even thing. if you do feel this way about Schlatt, I've got I wouldn't a, I've got a golden opportunity to just be like... just. Throw up all of my problems with Schlad right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we guy, want. Guys, just a, he's just a total piece of shit. I mean, yeah, as I've said this before, uh -huh. he's angry when he's sleeping, mm. which is, I mean, <laughs> true. That's, so that's strike one. He's, hey, wait, hold on. He's angry when he's sleeping. Is that what you said? <laughs> well, okay. So there was this one time that that Schlad during during the the recording chuckle week, he was he was just exhausted and he was sleeping one time and he just. <laughs> had this like scowl on his face as he was sleeping. Yeah. Like he was angry about the like and sleep is the best too. So if he's mad about that, then mm. I mean sleep rage. What's, what's I left? have this too. It's uh <laughs> what it's, is that? It's very common. You're just enraged all the time. 
Is your mm, do you have a dream where you're enraged? <laughs> no, maybe they're happy dreams, but the rage is always there. I yeah. I love Shalat so much. He was one of the one of the first people I met in streamer world where I was like, this guy rules. But the first time I like, yeah, let's talk about the guy. How much you like the guy who's not on the podcast? That's right. <laughs> I Sorry, was gonna say. We'll no, get, he's great. <laughs> Fred, we'll get back to you. So uh, I was talking about Jay Shalat. Fred Division. Um, <laughs> Fred Division. Uh, Fred like, Division. You know, Fred like Division. We'll yeah. get back to you. Uh, no, it's like television. When me and like, when me and Aiden flew to Texas and we stayed with Shalat, he was the only person at home we got to the house and we had these like assortment of weird uh things that like introduced us to like his environment so we walk up and there's like a mario toy like sitting like a tiny tiny mario toy it's, sitting on the front doorstep it's just, it's just sitting on the it's step it's so the first small thing we see. and with the first thing we see schlatt then proceeds to not answer the door for an hour and we sit at his doorstep for a full hour Dude, we're sitting outside <laughs> like in, in this nice you know in this nice texas neighborhood just like awkwardly making eye contact with the children that are playing in the street which uh, you should never do yeah yeah it I, should never be awkward and aiden keeps going like, hey <laughs> you got a mom it's like rule number 13 of being adult don't make eye contact <laughs> with the children i know but after an hour you just you get around it. <laughs> Keep, yeah the rule is one hour no eye contact after that yeah it's fair it's game a, it's a buffet and then and then yeah. he finally gets yeah, back he, to you he finally gets back to me and he goes sorry very drunk be there in a second <laughs> and, like, he, and he comes to the door and and he is very drunk. And he opens it and he's like, hey, what's up, guys? And we're like, hey, what's up, man? He, he hugs us and welcomes us in. And we go and sit on the couch. And he instantly goes, uh, hey, do you guys want to watch SpongeBob with me? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that sounds Either great. Either that or iCarly. I, I yes, Carly. we also watched a lot of iCarly. <laughs> iCarly, too, yeah. yeah no, and we just sat time. down and we just zoned out watching SpongeBob and iCarly for like three hours. He's Are you no. kidding me? This that is was how, what, yeah, that how was what we, we met did him. when we got to Austin the first time. There was nothing in between those okay, things. here's the thing. Here's the thing you got to understand about Shalat. He is a guy that likes to chill. <laughs> yeah, he likes I love to that. Chill. And I think that there's people who are, there are the chillers of the world, and then there's the goer, go, go, go people of yeah. the world. Uh-huh. And you know, I know those people. Yeah, yeah. You know Wait, the, what the, are you? The go 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 uh -huh. people. Which yeah, where do you lie? Which camp? Um, I think I find myself to be a happy medium, maybe a a chill but go go. I don't think that's you can't, true at you all. You cannot yeah. open this with there are either chillers yeah. or yeah, no goers, I, and then be so like, but I am the exception. But me, well, Thanos, well, yeah. wields both. Well, it's riddle a, me it's this. Spectrum. Riddle me this. I'm special. No, you're not a riddle. No, 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 no. You're just tall. God damn it. <laughs> I'm in the yeah. middle of you're the set. You're just tall and American. That's I'm why in, I'm in between that. two sides. I'm in the middle here. I no, would say I'm like a. That. We're I'm actually, actually gonna. We're gonna actually crop does out. break down. Are we the go 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 people and you're the chill? I people? think I might be a chiller. I def you're definitely no, guys, a chiller. Nobody. He's is a, a go go goer. Are you fucking kidding me? You're smoking weed. I. Wow. I literally don't want to do anything ever. At all. Okay, so let's let's go down the line. I'm here a and turtle, actually, Ted. And, and by the court of public opinion, we'll uh, determine yeah. which is which. So Aiden, what's Aiden? Go 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 go. He's a normie. Go go go. Ultimately a normie. He we, he's our well, Pokemon that we cast normie onto people when like they're talking to us and we're like, oh, this is small talk. Aiden, go. And then he goes, hi. Have you heard like, about the global economic crisis? And then they have a conversation for an hour. Wow. He's really interesting. He's like a NPC in Pokemon too. Just walks up to people. <laughs> the exclamation mark goes above his head. <laughs> Hi, hey. how's it going? Yeah. Hey. I made it. I'm, I made oh. it. It's nice to meet you. What's You're your great. name? Hey, man, it's chill. It's cloud district often. Uh, I think I'm a chiller. You're a chiller. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a lot of YouTuber streamers. They're chillers because then they're just like on stream. You have to chill off stream. Otherwise, you're a weed guy too. Your life you're a weed is guy now. psychopathic. Me? That was a weed guy. guy. I'm a weed guy? Yeah, yeah you're guy. a weed guy. All you do is talk about- You are the most weed guy in the house. You are the most weed guy in the house. Talk about Bob Marley. People are literally straight edge. Yeah, yeah. But that's I'm just, sorry. That you're helping our argument. So you're the true. alcohol guy. In the, you're the alcoholic in the house. You drink that's more true. than I do I as well. Don't you definitely do. Hundred percent. I only drink once a week with mangoes, and that's, and that's more than he does. That's more than I drink. And that's for work, not pleasure. <laughs> I'm getting right. drunk at work. <laughs> okay. Where do you exist? You have to pick one. You cannot exist in the middle. Where do you lean? Okay. I will. I think that I'm. I'm at heart a go go goer. Um, I think that maybe the the pandemic has kind of pulled down my go go, mm. mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> and just sucked the <laughs> life I, right out I, of it. But I'll admit, I do have my my chill moments. Sick and tired of people scapegoating the pandemic. For <laughs> it, yeah, it is weak of you to in do that. In these difficult times, I've become a chiller. Well, <laughs> if for instance, one of my chiller things was today, I didn't do a, a dang thing, but I've gotten into a special. You know how sometimes you just have a, a thing you do uh -huh. for like a week Beat straight, off. yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm currently in the process of doing the uh, the 
<laughs> it's a Skyrim run of sorts. Right. Yeah. It's the uh, alchemy, hyperfocus, good time, only alchemy speed run. Is this for content? What the fuck are you no. talking what? about? Okay, I'm a go, go, goer then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not associated Wait, with on. the alchemy guy. What is this run? What do you do in this run? Um, So, I don't know how it started, but I got Skyrim on my PS5, and I decided that the only thing that I wanted to do was just get really good at alchemy in Skyrim. So I've just been going around picking up flowers <laughs> and finding toads. Dude, you can play Minecraft. And, what the fuck is wrong with you? How many, how many hours Dude, in Wait, Schlatt actually did this. You actually do this. I thought I was a cartoon character, but this is weird. <laughs> I'm out of my element well, this right now. Normal like a nine to five and when I realized it. that I had to take drive uh, the good ways to get here. I was in the middle of that run. I was just looking for blue and red mountain flowers. Sure. No, yeah. <laughs> How um, many hours in are you? I've done it this for at least like six or eight hours of, of just doing just alchemy. Just, and it's not really a speed run then. Or is it? Well, it takes no, a while. No, it's just a run. It's not a speed run. It's a yeah. run, right? Just, like I'm a no gonna, death run or something. Don you a chiller. Hmm? I think it's. it's <laughs> <laughs> I went to his place recently. It's very put together, more than I thought it would be from being like a YouTuber. Yeah, he's a like girlfriend. he's got he's got like an alcohol bar set up. He's got like all furniture. The whole house is furnished. Do you live with your girlfriend? No, but she's they're over there often. Okay, so how much of this? If she wasn't around, would you just be in like a rat pile of rats? Um, I go through phases of the rat pile. <laughs> um, sometimes I have to shoo them away. Sometimes. Um, well, you can eat them, too, or I befriend have, them. I'm mostly, it's all up to you. <laughs> I'm mostly good at keeping everything in line, except for the, the one thing I just cannot fucking do is laundry. And it oh, just yeah. turns into a mountain of shame. Couldn't be me. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Ludwig, Ludwig had to hire a service to do his laundry for him. And I'm bad at laundry, too. That's I've true. been thinking about that. But, like, at the same time, it's, it's kind of fire. Hey, let me tell you, you still got to put the clothes away. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but you don't. You make her do and it. No, they sit. That. They just sit. They sit. You guys <laughs> both say they fuck just it. Sit, Can I? All right. Let me break. I didn't do my homework. Ted, I don't know anything about you besides like when I've he's a chiller. interacted with you. I know you're a chiller. You know that he's chills. And I know that you probably do mescaline while playing Skyrim. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Makes sense to do the alchemy. What? Where do you? Who are? Who, do you get who off? are you? Mescaline. Who am what are you I? doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, Talk to the Owen Wilson. Damn, who that's, are that's you? such a fucking broad question. Well, my I, question is, where are you from? Because I don't know. Okay. How old are you? All right. Are you white? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> is that like? Because I don't know. You really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Look, at me, look at me right now, and audio listeners, listen to my voice. He looks like a 1960s white, white. husband. <laughs> he could be. He could be like the. He could, he could be Italian. I'm blue wash jeans. Right he now looks. He looks like what a I'm... decom considers a middle schooler. <laughs> <laughs> they cast him for for someone who's thirteen. He's like, uh, hey, it's me. <laughs> in, in ten years, I'll be able to upgrade to high school. Um, no, I'm so I'm I'm twenty three. Dude, uh, what the fuck? Yikes! That's You're 23. You didn't know I was 23. No, yeah. oh, you guys are all. You, dude, you didn't know. I'm, that? I'm probably, I just I've learned. probably seen you more than anyone in this room, and you didn't know how old I was. Bad friend. Well, I've been saying this. Bad yeah, friend. Well, mm, so, I love to. So you knew. Hey, Nick. I knew. Always bad friend. Doesn't even know how old I am. 26. Birthday. That's what I'm saying, man. That's June. I'm saying. Can't remember July. Damn, bro. March. Anyway, uh, March. you're 23. <laughs> are you white? I am white. Okay, noted. And you're from New England. People, yeah. G. Where yeah. in New England? I'm from Massachusetts. That's right. Yeah. I thought you were from New York. No, he, so the he's people, from a yeah. town. You got the draw. You're from, wait, you're from a because I went to college in New York. Dude, but... I, I was at, we were at Nobu. It was a bunch of streamers. And like, Dude, was, that picture was so funny. Which yeah. one? The one where he's alone? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, because it was, it, it was really confusing on, on that fucking group chat on when people were getting there. Yeah. It was like, I don't know what it's, it was like fucking nine be there. And I was yeah. like, okay, I'll be there. I get there at nine. I walk in. And I'm like, hey, this is the party I'm here with. And they walk me in just an empty room. <laughs> and the and like the fucking king's table is right there. There's yeah. like fucking 40 seats. And I'm like, wow, I am early <laughs> by a lot. You are. They show up an hour late. So are whatever time they well, say you, you can show up an hour early or actually early. He's I'm on time. OK, so you're streamer. streamer early. Early. It said show up at nine. You got there at nine. Yeah. No. And, That's and you were alone. <laughs> Jesus. They all Christ. have brain rot. They you literally people, all of them. You people are the fucking worst. 
Do you think I this is exclusive you. to streamers? Yes. yes. I no, think it's because not. Stream, if no, this was no, a thing full of streamers actors, have no excuse. Like they they live as like their own we personal work little so celebrities. Hard. God damn you. Every day. God damn what? you. Fuck. Weren't you aren't you a streamer? No, I'm not. Weren't no. you? No. I was never sure. He's, he's a guy with a Twitch account, and sometimes it goes live. That's true. Okay. I, I'm not part of the so, cabal okay. of your ilk, well, but you seem not, much more chill. And you show up on time. He's also not a streamer. You show up on time, right? He respects you so much for that. Wow. You have no idea. Way. I was... <laughs> God, you look not like you're having... I you're brought about, this he's up. about to have a breakdown right now. By the way, to say Can you tardiness. hold me? <laughs> <laughs> At that party, I walked around, and there was pockets of conversations, and I walked by, or I was in the conversation, and Ted goes like, yeah, I'm from this town in Mass. It's actually where like Jaws was filmed. Or so you said something like that. Some fun fact about your town. No, no. Uh, the town I grew up in was where uh, Steve Carell grew up. That's the one. Yeah. That he brought is it up way casually. different, by the way. Well, it's like one of the only Carell, fun Jaws. facts. If that... There's like two fun facts about the town that I grew up. Steve Carell grew up there, uh -huh. and the first officer to die in the Revolutionary War was from there. <laughs> That's, That's hard. Lit. What's his name? Uh, Steve Carell. <laughs> oh, weirdly enough, also he was his great, great, Isaac great granddaddy. Some, Isaac, his name was the office. fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry, you're from Mass. Yeah. Um, and you're 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 a YouTuber. We you classify yourself as a YouTuber. I would probably classify myself as a YouTuber. That's yeah. the that's the 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 tar Yeah, what I'm do a you bit call of a YouTuber. The talbert you would put on. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, well, final question. So this is a big one because the room is split into these two halves. Mm -hmm. You say Gellers you know the world chillers. is go getters. Wait, sorry, I thought sorry, you were going to ask about chillers. Bernie Sanders' go -goers pussy. Go-goers and go, chillers. Go, 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 I thought for go, sure you were going to ask people. about Bernie Sanders' pussy when you were No, like, no, we'll ask him that later. <laughs> the go-goers and chillers of the world can also be separated into a similar category, which is uh, cut and uncut penises oh. of the world. Are you an uncut gem? Like, do it, like... Is your penis circumcised, or is it as God <laughs> intended it to be? I I am circumcised. Let's go! Did you think God intended circumcision? He said the opposite. No, I said the dumb opposite. Idiot. Uh, I would argue that, that I would brain. argue that the the weena looks a little bit uh, <laughs> more classy. Thank the you. Circumcision. Thank you, Ted. It doesn't look classy. No, no I wouldn't say that. I think it's got it's some more class like, to it. I mean, it depends on. I I've, suppose it depends on what dicks the dicks are like. I've polled. I've surveyed. You're, I find it cool that Ted's a racist. Personally, <laughs> <laughs> your shit, your shit looked like a raincoat all the time. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yes, there it's is. Snug. Oh, because you know what? It's hot down here. It rains a lot around the world, <laughs> and I'm ready for it. Looks like a demon worm from if an alien count, movie. If we count all guests, it's still 50 50. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Stavros. Stavros well, was in our favor. Obviously. Wait, India, Zip. But... Oh. What are we working with? Over there? <laughs> <laughs> what did Zipper show us is junk. <laughs> Zipper can put it up on the screen. Yo, like head's head. <laughs> open the door in 4K real quick. <laughs> so, you, so let me get back to it. YouTuber. Okay, so you know where I'm from. from you know how old I am. I you know, know that you're I'm white. circumcised. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We uh, discovered the, the, three, the golden trio. This is your college app. I, yeah. I really do feel like I've got it all down. My, my inquiry is over. Yeah. You're in the club. That's all of my immutable qualities. So. Yeah. yeah. He also went to film school, which I've I found to be one of the more interesting things about you. We met. Yeah. You, think, if you ever met so, a film student, you would know that's not interesting. Well, but wow. I thought I thought it was interesting that he was. It's more interesting than that he's white. <laughs> that is more interesting. How was film that's school? You went to NYU. <laughs> True. Hmm? You went to NYU, or you go to a different school? No, I went to Ithaca College. Oh shit! That's in road trip. That's is the it? college in road trip. Another fun fact you can add. With mm -hmm. Tom Green and I'm so old. You're aging yeah. yourself right now. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zipper. Zipper's no, freaking out right now. Hey, I can't That's wait crazy. for the five minute segment on slime old again. Uh, <laughs> all right. I get either, it. I get there. A guy at um low t low tide city. It was a, a smash event that we just went to. I mean, uh, I not Aiden because Aiden bailed. Uh, crazy. Fake. Um, came up to me and was I'm like, a goer. I mean, it's not know? a big surprise. <laughs> I get the bail. A guy came up to me and he was like, "You're Nick," and I was like, "Yeah." He goes, "Slime's old." And then he left. No fucking way. And he walked what did he look like? Um, <laughs> what did he look like? <laughs> Get I, you know what's crazy? Tell me what he fucking you know looked crazy? like. I, I, I erased him. I yeah? was, it was Dude, such a gone. it was such a negative experience. I just I looked back at the group I was with, and everyone was audio listeners. I'm sorry, making this face. Oh. <laughs> and I look I look back, and I, and I'm, they're like. That sucks. Okay, and if I was you want to like, have yeah. a good relationship with your audio listeners, you got to describe the face that you make. Do I don't okay. remember? Okay, it. I'll describe it. It is the. It I is think the he had meme. a ponytail. It's the meme of the girl speaking knives at somebody <laughs> and the guy getting stabbed, but the knives are cringe faces, mm -hmm. and the guy is the guy, and the girl is the whole group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. Audio wow. Fifteen listeners. people followed that. Yeah, no. yeah, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm, so he feels good. Did anyone in this room understand that? <laughs> 
<laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Did you have you had a chance? Because like so, I mean, so much of the past like basically two years has been during COVID. So have you had a chance to go to a big event where you're getting like stopped and recognized every like few feet? Um, I went to a Glass Animals concert recently, and I and I put it on my story, and then the I guess people who were also at the concert knew I was there, so I got stopped a few times like on the way out. But um, I I mean. Since I was part of a group before COVID, so yeah. like when I went to like TwitchCon and VidCon and stuff, I was like around people, so they knew me by association with those creators. But other than that, no, I'm 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 interested to see what it'll be like since I'll, most of my growth has happened during COVID. What it'll be like when like I go to a convention or something because I have no idea what that's gonna look like. What happened to the group? Oh, nice. <laughs> was, Wait. I'm talking about Lunch Club. It's, 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 it's <laughs> I don't yeah. get. I don't. I'm so out of it. What? Um, what's the joke? Is because Carson led the group and. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> kind of ended. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn! It's like not happening anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, it's, uh, it was just uh, scheduling conflicts. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, nothing to do with that. It was totally scheduling. Yeah. <laughs> so you so you just blew up and now you're like a, like the man's. What was your first pop? <laughs> You know what I'm yeah. saying. Hey, put her there. Hey. Nice. Dude, I, you know what it is? He, I think hands I'll, I'll, I'll speak hands. some Ted history. It's a video of him talking about how he got really fucking high yeah, there you go. by well, accident. I've, well, that, noticed that that, got... I've noticed that you have a particular, I think there's been two or three separate times that you've talked to me about this video in particular, and you, you seem to have a very high focus on this video. I like the video. It's also your most viewed, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, Ludwig's so, a numbers so I, guy. I think in, as the numbers guy, this is my this is my theory. Yeah. You looked at that and you and you and you've been pining over that video. You were like, how did he get so many views <laughs> for such an explicit copy? <laughs> but I will let you know this right uh -huh. now, uh -huh. and it's gonna make you feel a little bit better. Yeah. Because recently, last month, September, beginning of September, after a year of having that video being fully monetized, YouTube caught me. Dude. We just got iced yeah. out on our on yeah, our I'll, video. I'll that up. Yeah. Our, our, our edibles video got really? demonetized. Yep. Yeah. So, so our, I wonder if had, something just happened. We had an game. episode of the podcast. We didn't even like do edibles on it. We just talked about having done them before it. Yeah. And they got demonetized last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Not the one where they took it? Well, no, but they took it, but not on the show. Right, right. Oh, I see what you're you saying. I mean? I'll yeah, be yeah. honest, though. I originally was, when I, re I remember when I released that video, I was like, you know, I tried to make the the title as as not relating to weed as possible because like the closest thing is like edible and maybe the milligrams and 400 milligram. But I was pretty sure that it was like YouTube is going to catch on and this is going to be a limited video. But I, so I was, you know, I'm pretty happy that it survived for almost more than a I mean, year. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah if you can make yeah. it that long. Then. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, we, we lasted about three weeks or whatever it was. So, <laughs> yeah, no, maybe they had like a weed guy at YouTube. Like they hired a dude who wears like a the, the Bob Marley Keeps color up with hat, the slang. and he's just like, "Don't worry, I'll get him, boys." <laughs> just <laughs> hacky like, sack. He's got a watch. joint in his mouth, and so he's just when typing. they say when they say just edible like this, it's actually it's not like a normal food or something like that. <laughs> it makes you... Susan is just peepo <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. Will you cancel Finsta? Dude, oh my god, dude, that, that, that was insane. Is insane. You guys see that? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's we so can talk sick. about that. That's pretty. That's it's so I can't topic. believe he doubles down. If you guys don't end. know. There's like a boomer senator who asks the head of Facebook, uh, or no, it was a I think it's Instagram. Instagram, uh, like, hey, uh, what are you gonna do to stop Finstas? And she's like, sir, that's that's actually not a. It's not a feature. It's just kids yeah, making a slang. private account. <laughs> And and he's like, so you're not doing anything to can't like what? How are you gonna stop Finsta? Which is so now you, I think so that you he should to cancel. Yeah, the he refused to cancel the Finsta. <laughs> My only, let me defend this man for one second. That's Why? Crazy. Yeah, I think, Why? She, I think she explains Why? it. Why? And, and, she and let me also add, that's really your guy. Poorly. Well, before you I say that, I actually think she explains it really poorly. And say what but, you will but, about but, Hitler, but you know, <laughs> yeah, if, you, oh, yeah. if you and Mister Blumenthal, guy and Hitler, you're on the podcast equating Finsta. But before you go into this, let me ask you this. Yeah. Follow up question: What right do you have? To That's a good this question. Because he was to born to live to free or her. die, in the death state of dying. Do you have a Finsta? That's a li he's lived That's free me. or die. He's in mass. Mass is like fucking. Mass is, mass is like, hey, we've got math hey, and MIT. And what's going? We got some Ivy Leagues. Yeah, we're Mark Wahlberg beat a man <laughs> to, almost Wahlberg. to death. He's blind oh. now. Oh, yeah. I would, hey, I'm Mark Wahlberg. I, before you, I, think, I, I, I just had a it was deja awkward. vu moment. I, I was... brought it up at so we were, it was me, Ted, and Tina, who's a streamer, <laughs> wildly like successful streamer, and and Ted brought up that he lived in Mass, and I was like, oh yeah, Mark Wahlberg's from Mass. And she's like, who's that? And I'm like, oh, he's like in movies. He beat a man until he was blind in a racist <laughs> act. Right. And she's like, oh. 
Yeah. Okay. I thought, <laughs> okay, total well, vibe killer. Yeah. To your benefit, though, I thought that that was very interesting. I, I, think, I thought I it thought, was interesting. I thought that I was hyping up the fun fact in that and moment. Then, and, then Ted, and then Ted was like, um, he's in he's in the movie Ted. <laughs> 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 and she's like, I don't know that one. <laughs> I uh, was, was on that Hollywood tour with Cutie like, mm. a, like a month ago. Mm. And we're like driving through the Hollywood Hills and they're telling you where like different people have lived over time. And the driver gets around to mentioning Mark Wahlberg. Oh, you went on the Hollywood tour. Yeah. Yeah. And it wow. was a uh, because she had a she had a free ticket. I'm like, yeah, let's let's go do it. And go go goer. I and that's you know that's I'm a go goer and go, go, I, I go. I would never I fucking go, do that. I go get things, <laughs> and he mentioned him, and I was like, holy shit, that's where they filmed 2:30 a.m. Crew, which is this yeah. like crazy Instagram story you did. And then I was like, to the driver, I was like basically like leaning over because I was sitting behind him. Like, do you know? Do you know that he has not one but two <laughs> racially motivated felonies? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was like. Uh no! Like, <laughs> the driver <laughs> turns around and it's Tina, and she's like, "I don't know why this keeps well, happening." It's an interesting thing because I feel like we would that would be a bigger thing than it is. I think and it's I, just it's, the amount why is of time that it happened to go. sweep it under, bro. Because oh, was it, it really long? Because it happened in like the eighties. Yeah, it was. It was it's before like he was Marky Mark and oh, the Pokemon. You made it okay. So no, no, yeah, it didn't happen like that. This was this was pre Yeah, you made it sound like this happened in like twenty eighteen. Dude, if it happened in twenty, you would racism was still in the game. <laughs> they didn't patch out racist they, did, they also just didn't have the internet like i, I feel like it, it doesn't just wouldn't have circulated in the boston same way super, like super, like a boston is, is let's be real racist. boston is notably racist it's yeah. funny how are racist they, they yes. are for how blue they are yeah i was just in boston it oh, is yeah? racist <laughs> like, like you're reporting well, back. You, you well, know, you know no. from personal experience. You, you showed up there. in Boston. <laughs> still very racist. We're talking to Tom now. <laughs> I was at the Pats game, right? It was a Were Pats you? Buccaneers game. It was Tom Brady's return. <gasps> Wait, to Tom Brady is on the Buccaneers watching his Pats cohorts well, who we used to see their penises him. cocks and what? balls in the shower he kiss could, all their sons you know the exact ratio of circumcised works. to uncircumcised that's right I don't think you know and works. now he's fighting against works. them <laughs> no, <I'm not>. well, <laughs> he knows about football Ludwig don't be a prick yes, to our Pop guests Warner. yes Tom so. Brady returned to New England and it was, a, it was a fucking amazing game but a couple rows behind me because like his son out. you know it's like <laughs> sheer when Tom Brady's on the field and the Bucks are in the field to like rattle them I just just hard tease no no the homophobic way. slur. Yeah. Hey, Wait. Tom, you... And they're just, no way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Shit. With just a Dude. thick Boston accent. Yeah. I was at a friend's house before, and uh, and it was like it was like a friend of a friend, and uh, and then the friend of a friend's like parents came over, and like his stepdad was there. And, uh, and he was like throwing out weird right-wing feelers because we were all sitting around. He's like, we're watching the red zone on the TV waiting to go to the game, and he goes... Man, you know, fucking, you know, all these guys got COVID. None of them died, huh? And, I, <laughs> and that was like first one. And I was like, oh. And he's like, yeah, you know, I just feel like the fucking vaccine's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a quack fest. He's like just throwing them out. And then eventually he's like, what are you doing January 6th, huh? <laughs> it's like, he's just oh, escalating. Shit. And I'm like, hey, damn. Biden's, uh, Biden's gay, right? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Right? But actually, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm drinking. I'm just trying to watch football. Football Wait, with is this my guy boys? like one of your aged group friends? No, or it's like it's, an older person. It's like it's my friend's roommate's stepdad. Oh, okay. why is he there? Because he on I, the couch, my friend. Because <laughs> they went to beer. visit. They just moved in, so okay. they, like, they went to like housewarming gifts. Yeah, uh, but so, was, just, so he was just like, ah, oh, you know, I think immigrants shouldn't be voters. Yeah, <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> and you're like, yeah. hey, yeah, pass me a beer. That's a good point, though, too. <laughs> Am I doing it right? I yeah, really enjoy the bad. way that people um, do Boston accents too when they're actually doing it because, like, when you did it right then, it's it's there's so much that just isn't part of the Boston accent, but it yeah. it reflects in it where you're just like. Oh, you know, I went down to the, the shop today. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 like, wait, is that good or bad what you just did? No, it's terrible. Okay. Right? You're like someone in the new. Well, it's a caricature of it. Yeah. You should, you're you should hear newsies. Slime's Ludwig, which is, which, which is Dude, probably. My Ludwig is sick. All right, go. You want to hear my Ludwig? All right. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> so it's like the bit is like I'm skydiving and mm -hmm. I go to the, and I'm addressing my YouTube audience, right? So, oh, I could do that easily. Well, let me see yours, actually. All right. Boys, today. Dang, <laughs> we went skydiving. Oh, shit. And you'll never believe, boys, you'll never <laughs> believe what happened. I got on the plane. <laughs> and 
I didn't want to go up. I didn't want to go up. Oh my god, he's so good. But the motherfucker on the plane, <laughs> dude, pushed me <laughs> off. The plane. This Honestly, so I'm this is what you sound like. This, this is really. This is, this is, like. this is engaging. So I'm engaged. Like. It's engaging. I'm engaged. <laughs> yeah, you want to click? You want to sub? <laughs> I would click and subscribe right now because it's so fucking engaging. That was fire. Wow. All right, now slime. Can you do All right, yours? here's my. Hey, hey, pretty good. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> it's the there's, same as yours. There's like a, there is a devolution of of this across episodes. And it's gotten like progressively more fucking bad. distorted. Oh my God. You sounded with like each, with you sounded attempt. like like somebody's like uncle that was really really angry and he has like a peanut allergy and he's like <laughs> uh, and he's approaching like the <laughs> the peak of like yeah. the allergic His reaction. It's closing up. <laughs> it sounds like doing a Donald Duck impression. I mean, it's all in like. I know, but what's the? You look like you're riding a horse. That's what he does. Riding a horse, yeah. Why are you riding a horse right now? That's in what he seat? does because he gets all bouncy so and shit. So I'm out of the plane. <laughs> there it is. It's like I'm watching the video again. It's like I'm juggling. Oh, no, I think it's, are you talking about the, the the gesticulating that he does? You mean the? It's it's more the. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's what all I know is that it, it fills me with rage because he's not like that in any other way in his life ever. Well, part part of that impression I learned from Nick because one of the most important things after the voice is the today. It's the How, what did you? T what was this conversation? We, oh, we, we were today. privately talking shit about you. He no, we weren't. Yeah. I was I was just doing a uh, <laughs> an impression of you to make fun of you. <laughs> Dude, everyone does that. I went back to this game. I bought I bought tickets. It's all my high school friends. First time we've met up in a while. And they were doing the same fucking thing. Ooh, I it's love so, that. It's so, so, you have I such a that. unique cadence though when yeah. you're doing your when you're stream. So I think it was it was coming up where we're in that context yeah. where we were. No, it comes up it. a decent amount, I guess, because I, I went think it was I went negative. to the liquor store, just okay? me. And they were all in the car. And I come back after buying liquor for all of them and they're all laughing their ass off. I'm like, what? <laughs> and they're like, nothing. I was like, what what? And like you know, we were just laughing, like thinking you were going live in the store. You're like, boys, here I am at the liquor store yeah. getting some booze. The Pats games here. <laughs> like, I'm like, fuck you guys. Uh, buy you this beautiful yes. liquor bottles. Yeah, I'm so glad your your high school friends roasted you. Yeah, that's yeah. that's great to hear. That, well, of course, I would. It'd be cringe if over like the three years, you know, that, that I was hanging out more often, they became like yes men who it's, were like, I yes, mean, it's sir. it's really fun to to copy it. I'll be honest. I mean. I mean, you did it's a great pretty, job. It's pretty straightforward too. I mean, the one of the first times that I watched like in length one of your stories was when I had I someone told me that you had told the the story about how my girlfriend absolutely obliterated you in the in the uh Oh pong, yeah, beer um, pong. Which is Oh, did you get crossed up? His girlfriend is a Chad and he is a beta. <laughs> this has come up on every podcast like we're gonna have been on together, which is fun. <laughs> But, yeah. Uh, no, she's she's a beast. She's a beast on the field. So you got the fuck. You got the, just mixed up on the. She on was the table. so wet. She hit like three final cups in a row, like just last. Why cup. you gotta say my girlfriend was so? Wet? <laughs> yeah, that I, was. Yeah, a, why I would you like, say that? Why did you say that? <laughs> Thank you for saying it. That was no. I didn't no. want to say anything. No. I was sitting there. Like, I, was like I get it. It's a word this you use. Like, this is sexist. This is why I was a little bit trepidatious hold about on, coming out of this podcast because I do a lot for you guys. All right, I fucking. Quite literally died on camera yeah. for you guys okay, right. for this True. podcast. What is a term no. you use? Yeah, but you should use, use, use a different oh, word. You can't use it towards women. What I I feel feel like explain what you meant because I have even in the most generous of terms, like I had no clue what you meant. When your your splash. shot is yeah, wet, splash. splash. Dude, I have never heard that. Well, in my wait, life. you've never heard splash. It's you're a fucking matter. nerd. Wait, hold on, hold on. I still think what he said is weird as shit. But you've never heard splash. Yeah, no, I, I that's said crazy. I've never heard wet. If I no, said no, no, Ted's shot was yes, wet, no I'd one would have batted it. No eye. shit, that's what makes sense. Dude, don't no, don't that's mind wrong. jerking off like Yo, this isn't a reasonable request. Okay, how about this? So for. For women, just to avoid any confusion, for women you say that their shot was cummy, and then for men you say that their shot was wet. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's and that's okay. the key. Yeah. So, so, so Shay's shot was was cummy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her, his girlfriend spermed all over. <laughs> her shot was raw. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not what I was. Right. That's, that's like, what he was saying. Uh, what, what's like wrong? What's wrong with Ludwig? Ludwig, what's wrong with what he just said? That's Doesn't right. Feel as 
doesn't feel. I'm gonna make the last cup come. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna climax with this shot. Okay. All right. She was very good at the sport. Smiley nice. face. Nice. Better than you. Uh, yeah, way cool. better. And I went to yeah. ASU. I thought I had some decent prepared. That's true. What's I mean, your... Ted sucked. That's true, Damn. Ted. Terrible. Look, I know he's trying to put heat on you, but oh no! The story. I, in, in introducing this story, I knew that Ludwig would waste no time in in clarifying that I was very bad at this <gasps> game of cup pong while also pretending to throw Threw up. up a goose egg. I am not very good at cup pong. And I, even to the extent cup that pong. when he Shane, calls it when, cup pong. that's cup what the kids when, bop well, because <laughs> well, I'm thinking of it in terms of the iPhone game because when Shay and I first started oh, dating, one of the things I that we see. would do a lot was when we play the the mm -hmm. the cup pong. She, war game. she like, warms and, up on her phone. Before. No, but like she, I maybe out of forty games that we played, she has won thirty five of them. So she's just a That's game. Just that crazy specific context of that game. Of the getting, two versions of the game require such a different skill. I know. Yeah. I know, which is why it's confusing. <laughs> is this because... why you're relegated to just being the alchemy guy in Skyrim? Because <laughs> you're just like, I can't fucking, I can't beat my well, girlfriend. I've also, I've also heard that Damn. their record in Smash is pretty weighted, weighted oh, towards who? I, she, she beats me a, a lot in Smash. She's I'm a not, gamer and Ted's not a gamer. You're, no, rele no, you're relegated I'm, to single player games. I'm better than her at like pretty much every other game we play, but we played Smash so much. Well, except Cup Pong. That she has, <laughs> it's one of those things where we first started playing and I was I was kicking her ass to a certain point where I started, we would be playing for a couple hours and then she wouldn't want to play anymore because I was kicking her ass so bad and uh -huh. it was really, it was awesome. Uh -huh. But then, <laughs> I, you know, I was made the mistake of starting to teach her how to get better and then now it's sort of like eclipsed, the skill has eclipsed and I'm just sweating all the time now. Who wins in Guitar Hero if you go against each other right now? What, what are you living in 2008? Who's playing guitar yeah, here? Yeah, you old bitch. Okay. Yeah, you loser. Okay. Yeah, what? yeah. Wait, what? Everyone hates how I, old I, you I are when you talk. I just spoke. I'm in Fortnite. I'm sorry. I just spoke. I'm in Fortnite. I'm sorry. Fuck you. I'm in Fortnite. Fuck you, man. I was like a normal At least I can grow a beard. Goldfish? <laughs> no. All right, fine. Oh. I realize now we're on a podcast, so I probably shouldn't be chewing on. No, the, no, please, please. They love that. They love that. Really? Yeah. They've talked about it. Their favorite thing when you chew goldfish. Yeah. But you. No. Sorry, just to close ah. out that story about the the cup punk for people who haven't who could for some reason don't watch Ludwig's stream haven't seen the chuckle sandwich episode of Ludwig. I mean, because this is pretty much the Ludwig show. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm uh, right. No, no, elaborate no, on that. It's no, okay. I'm no. joking. Hey, um, he's right. But <laughs> <laughs> as the third our, most followed person, this is our. Hey, love it. What episode now. are we on? Thirteen. Um, <laughs> Zipper said no it is 14 but, but no one else knew either no I looked I at him because I, oh, I, I looked 13. I did this to you because I thought you knew that I knew uh, what episode I, fuck it was I thought it was 13 I uploaded them yeah, it's ba 14 basically uh, Shay, Shay with almost entirely with the help of Shay she and I beat uh, they duty do me and versus Daniel Thrasher in that game of cup pong yeah. and Daniel then, Thrasher yeah who's that YouTuber oh yeah the bigger than you guys he yeah. does like skits um, of like like skits and then they're also like a lot of them are music based. Music memes. Are they funny? I think oh, they're super funny. Wait, yeah, yeah. I think we watched it. Connor showed us some of this when we stayed at Schlatz. I think it's that guy. Do you remember wait, what's, guy. His, what's his channel name? Daniel, Daniel Thrasher. Thrasher. He's a piano guy. Didn't no, Connor show us that him. guy? No, it's the guy who makes a, like his whole thing is green screen shit. Oh, that's the What's his name? I can't think of it. Yoga ball guy? No, 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 no. no, no, no. He that's, makes that's music. He makes music oh. And it's all like kind of not parody of anything, but it's like yeah. comedic. And he's on oh, the green ball screen. guy, Seth Everman. No, 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 dude. No, my theory: him. Seth Fuck. Everman, I'll, I'll Everman uses the tattoo head stuff. That he's a balding guy who says that he shaves voluntarily, but he uses the tattooed thing on his head. Wait, explain this. So there's a thing this you can do as talk. bald people. Is right. bald tech, right? You, you can get this. Tech. You can get tattoos on your head of hair follicles to make it look like you voluntarily shave your head. Every person balding has looked into this. I don't do it. I just shave. Have well, you thought about it? Seth Everman value, says... Sorry, Value Select is his name. Seth Everman says that he voluntarily shaves, but I, as a fellow bald, theorize <laughs> that he actually uses that method and lies to his fan base because he started off on Tumblr, and bald people do not belong on Tumblr. Hmm. Have you thought about getting the tattoo? The story is all this time. I thought about <laughs> it, yeah. See, I've never is heard it someone say that before. Yeah, it's actually it's not right your dermal me. layer, so you can like it'll go away. So you got to do it. 
It, yeah, I like a tight line. I don't even, though, I don't like even know that the word dermal layer exists. So I mean, that's how like, not bald you are. That's where yeah, that's where tattoos <laughs> go under. <laughs> how <laughs> hard? Okay, dermal well, here's a question that I'm so curious big. about. How hard has it been for you to be bald? <laughs> I mean, it seems <laughs> oh it my seems god! Really Thank you, hard. dude. <laughs> Finally, someone don't platform him. Someone asks me. I'm done with this episode. My feelings. Did you ever watch that one? Uh, it fucking sucks. You ever know the YouTuber Nice Peter? He was part of Epic Rap Battles history. No. There's this song that he wrote. When he was, I know, I know, in a similar about. situation to you, and uh, it's basically this song talking about how he's going bald, and um, it's just a song about how he's sh- he's getting his head shaved as it's going on. Okay, and he's like, if it's balding, I am. It's a bald guy. I'm gonna be. And did he did he like survive that career wise? Um, that's a no. I mean, let me just because... ask you this question: How many people are talking about? Oh, there it is, right oh, there. Wow. Look at okay. that. No, dude, dude, if you if you like added camera shake to this and made it black and white, this is like a some forty one music video. <laughs> To be clear, they do do this. He did survive that because Epic Rap Battles of History is mostly after that. Mm -hmm. But Epic Rap Battles of History is kind of defunct now. Here's all right, Mr. Historian. Well, it's just like (laughs) it's not like that happened. Then he failed. He he was wildly successful right now. Okay, let let me let me give you guys a little bald history. So you know that big viral video. It's not. It's not like the civil rights movement. Hey, Amen. This yep. is my time. <laughs> when did you Let's guys just, get to vote? It's damn close. <laughs> There's going to so, be a Fortnite monument of, of bald <laughs> guys, <laughs> of bald slime, like, yeah, yeah, and the museum of suffered. hair loss just in the Just with game. A, a flag, and then there's just like a, the top <laughs> crest of a head with a shining little no, star. It's, it's Mount flag. Rushmore, but it's slime when he's 5, 10, 15, and then 20. The Mount Rushmore is <laughs> like bald men. Listen, you <laughs> cocksuckers, all right? A the, timeline of sadness. So you know that viral video of Steve from Blue's Clues being like, hey, guys, and yeah. he's wearing a fucking hat. It's yeah. You know why he's Steve bald. quit Blue's Clues? Because he was going bald. Balding. Okay, that's a thing. And he's bald now. Yeah. Another. He was going to college. <laughs> Children Lug- cannot Lug- relate Lug- to bald people. Lubbock, your mother and I have something to tell you. What? Another, another okay. thing. It's we've okay. been watching a lot of Disney Channel original movies, obviously. Mm-hmm. And in the Disney Channel universe, bald people are often seen as the enemy. They are adults, <laughs> yeah. and they are bad. <laughs> we, They're always so the, bad. So the one we watched this week, so every- A lot of neo-Nazis that are bald. Okay, that is also <laughs> true, but we're trying to take and it they, back. And they feature right. a lot of them in DCOMs, funnily enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Walt yeah. Disney was, was very forward was about di- that. It was in Disney, Walt Disney's will. Yeah, <laughs> he anyway. wanted it. Uh, that the movie we watched this week, it was one of the most insane movies I think I've ever seen. It's called Pixel Perfect. And in the oh, buildup, I think I saw Danny Goodall yeah, I've seen that. a video about that. Yeah, yes, he, he did. did. He yeah. did. Yep. And in the buildup of the of the movie, we're like talking talking over it, and Slime's like, "Yeah, so usually in these, the bald guy is like, he turns out to be the bad guy." Yeah, I was educating Eamon. <laughs> and and I'm like, "Oh, okay. I'll be on the I'll be on the lookout for that." So sure enough, about halfway through the movie, like this guy who is bald, who, who also happens to be bald, who right? who. Gives off the air of being the bad guy in the movie. It's like, oh, this is this is him. This is it. But there's a there's a plot twist at the end, and he turns out to be on the main character's side. And yep. this was like a big deal because this is uh this is very <laughs> against all other decoms. We're taking yeah. bald back. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, know what, you know what's funny about that though, is that the fact that <clears throat> the fact that that was a twist. <laughs> I know. The fact that like you that they knew that the, they made a conscious choice of taking the bald guy and knew the audience would be like, oh, that guy's a piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> he, he, he has zero good intentions. Literally talked more about bald people's suffering in. Oh, in do you rights. feel left out? No, more for once more you're than, left out, Ludwig. Oh, big any... one million follower. You're left out now. This is our time. I'm this is what we like to call any minority privilege. group or women in the 14 episodes of this podcast. That's not true. I think it is. No, it will be true in like two more minutes. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? If you uh, want to watch Pixel Perfect with us and listen to the commentary, Uh-oh. go ahead and join the Patreon. Unless you're bald. <laughs> no, no, no join it if you're bald. No, no. It's like you talk. I'll start a bald channel in the Discord. If you are bald, <laughs> you're only allowed to enter tier oh, two and, and above. They, you get the bald pass in the <laughs> Discord. Bald, yeah, yeah, you have to no, post no, bald. You have to submit. You have to submit a bald. What? You have to do the old like 4chan post-it note check yep. with your bald head. Date, and time. And then you get in the channel. Real question, real question. Do you accept people who are voluntarily bald? Yes. You have to. So people, dude, are... that's like people who wear pre- like non-prescription glasses. No, no, no. Go fuck yourself. Listen, it's okay <laughs> if you're my, consistent. My culture is like, not your progress. Eric Costin <laughs> is fine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you have to. You can't just do it for a fad. Okay. Question now. Clarifying question. Hit are me. you like? It, are you actually bald, or did you just give up? I gave up. You're that. Mm-hmm. You know what? That's a good. Question. So like, yeah. if, yeah. if, if you were to like stop shaving for like six months, what would it look like? 
It would be really thin on top. It just doesn't grow a lot. And then the sides would grow like crazy. Mm -hmm. And it looks really terrible. Did you ever consider getting something like a toupee? No, I never did. Ever, ever. They make pretty advanced I was days. always like, you know what? That's where I draw the line. I yeah. don't want fake hair. Dude, you should. You should That's uh, where you say you should toupee. Get... Nay. I didn't say that because it's a pun, and uh, I don't like them. We're going we're gonna to cut that part out, and we're going to put it in Chuckle Sandwich. <laughs> 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 I'm used to making puns so much because I, usually, I usually have Charlie on the podcast. He's the pun. Charlie guy. does love puns. He loves them. And the and thing, is, thing is about Charlie, he is so quick. He's he's Out of anyone I know, he's probably like one of the people that I would consider to have the fastest comedy of anyone I know. Like he you can think just, Slime would like him? He can just, yeah, I think, I think he'd be. Oh, is he bald? No, no, he's not bald. No, but, he's um, not bald. He runs puns, but he's from New Hampshire. Yeah. That's like a triple strike. Also like a <laughs> yeah. Stop! He's, stop! He's already out. You I, gave him. I think. I think one of my favorite things about Chuckle Sandwich specifically is all three of you have these like insanely unique voices. Like I feel like none of us have unique voices, but you three all have very unique voices. Thank you. Is it? Well, you you are a, you are kind of like this beautiful like statue of a person. Do you ever have? Do you have a big head <laughs> about how how good you look? I have never ever been called a beautiful statue of a person, and now I can check that off. Yeah. That you very, can check it off, but kind. well, it's like you're, you're, you're like a Roman statue. It's like it's like the penis is right. The penis is right. the very is small. The nose is falling off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, so I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to wrap my mind still around Ted Nificen, right? And it's like. So you're like I, you're, it's you're funny, like this every time you say my last name, handsome it, guy, right? That's I just, fucked I, up. Can I just say something? Every time you say my last name, it sounds like you're trying really, really hard to get it right. Every I time. am. <laughs> it's so weird. You want me to say it for you? Just Please. so you know. Yeah. Nivison. 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 Like Nivison. maleficent. So like, no, like it's spelled no. N I. No. It's spelled N I V I S O N. Niva son. Have you ever thought <laughs> about changing it? What? <laughs> Would you I'm take, sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, would you I'll take repeat your that. Girlfriend's Have last you ever name? thought about changing your weird last name? <laughs> no, I don't think I would. Because her last name is Wilson, and that's like so. Oh, that's like, so dry. It's so normal. You know, there's also, so Ted, you wouldn't want to be Ted Wilson. No, no, that, Wilson's bad because it's also in that with Castaway. That's a good name. Ted Wilson. No, you'd be you'd be such a family Wilson. man. I sa- I would sound like a <laughs> like a football player that like got canceled. Ted Wilson. <laughs> Ted Wilson. Oh, dude, you hear about Ted Wilson? <laughs> you oh, look fuck. like a football player. Well, it's funny you should say that. I'm not. Let's talk about <laughs> high school, Ted. <laughs> Let me. But <laughs> Play the, the one connection to that is that there is one Ted Nivison that was a football player, mm. aka my father. Whoa. Your, your dad I'm was a, a junior. NFL football player? No, he wasn't. He was a college football player, and then for like 30 years afterwards, he was a uh, college YouTuber. Football referee. Your dad racist a little bit. What? He's a little racist. No. Come on. <laughs> Why are you trying to like edge him towards <laughs> it? He's bald though. He's a little uh, racist. Yeah. Admit that your father is racist. <laughs> a, well, admit implies that there is something true. There's truth to it, which he is not racist. Jeez. Checkmate, yeah. Ted's dad. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's. Wait, you were saying let's talk about high school. Where Wait, is that well, going? okay. I basically to go back to your original question. Going bald sucks. You feel like you're losing your identity, your youth. You get older, it just goes away, right? It's like, mm-hmm. boom, you look different now. I hope it never happens to you. But my other question was, what was high school like for you? Were you also like a gargantuan man? Did you have a lot of friends? Were you not a lot of friends? I've always been pretty fucking tall. I've always been, you know, in that in that hundredth <laughs> percentile or whatever. Did you lose your virginity, virginity in high school? Um, I I right at the edge of of ending high school, like at eighteen. Okay, Ludwig yeah. lost is like twenty four. So. It's not true. I was also <laughs> oh, was, eighteen. No, it's twenty five. I was 25, eighteen. Sorry. It was in Looking college back, though. though. It's crazy. Like when you're in high school, you hear about like kids who were losing their virginity at like fucking sixteen or there, something. There are people like losing that, their virginity like 15. in middle school. That, that like blows my mind yeah. right now because it's like that's so fucking early. It's yeah. really Daniel, and don't blur it out. Because I want to find him and oh, see what his life is like now. Definitely, let's blur that out. Because he lost his virginity in <laughs> middle school. Archie, don't listen. And to I him. was like, "That's crazy, dude." Yeah. And I think he drives a truck now, and it's fucked up. That's hype. No, driving trucks is cool. <laughs> the first part. <laughs> I <thought you> were... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no the first the first part. Yeah. Part uh, part of getting a Ford F one fifty is proving that you fucked before you were fourteen. There's like a bell curve. 
Like the it's like back in the day they would fuck when they were fourteen and then like we you were like the oh this? stop doing this stop <laughs> doing this we got to do it later in life and then I feel like now it's swinging back. Well, mm-hmm. you know the statistic is kids. Uh, I shouldn't say kids. Teenagers are having less sex in general. Yeah, that I is. I don't know statistic. what you're talking about. I think you're. I thought they're having wrong. more no, sex. No, no, less. They're on their phones and their Fortnite and TikTok's their, just solved it. You and don't their YouTube. need oh. to have sex when you have phone. Oh, uh, when you watch Ludwin Onder on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. You're actively suppressing fornication. Same with you, content creator shill. OnlyFans oh. is destroying this nation. Uh, do you think he... Did you beat off a lot? What? Like, in, like <laughs> growing up, did you beat off like the normal amount of his teenage Better boy? Better yet, you beat off now? I do. That'd be crazy hey. if you said no. Woo! Right here, brother. What is... I'm trying not to mess up the microphone. I mean, it's just like... I mean, yeah, we can do it still, but... I mean, that's the. It's not like it's not like me and him. It's off. not like me and him. We have we have like a chemistry. We got beat off handshakes. Yeah, we got yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I? I be, that's such an interesting. Uh, do I beat off a lot? I mean, I feel like a a, a normal amount for me. A comfortable <laughs> amount. A comfortable. A normal amount, amount proportionate Dude, to my scale. I, I, I haven't really. I haven't really pulled. Like other people on like uh, I don't know like how do we establish what's normal there? Yeah, that's a good question. What I'm more interested in actually your size, right? Your stature when you like the amount of cum that you generate <laughs> must be more than like me. <laughs> Wait, real quick, how tall are you? Six four. You talk about his size like he's a Goliath. I think you're taller than that. No. I've been he wondering about that. that. I, I, think there, I think there's a potential no, for me to be six five because I haven't really. A, I walked Aiden walk by you earlier, and he looked short next to you, and I was like, "That's crazy." Wait, hold, Wait, hold up, because Aiden's Dude, tall. Stand up. I bet his head will go out of frame of the camera. Oh, you're such a. Uh, let's go to a quick break. Let's, a go to <laughs> let's go to a quick commercial break. Uh, <laughs> hey, thanks, thanks uh, very much to Coinbase. <laughs> for uh, sponsoring this podcast, what a, what a wonderful w- oh, world! Oh, I just burned my face with my coffee. I'm sorry. In I'm the so- middle of our during Coinbase the Coinbase read? ad read, yeah, it it jumped up onto to my face. To be clear, face. this had nothing to do. Him burning his face had nothing to do with Coinbase. Coinbase doesn't mm. burn unaffiliated your face. with the burning of his face. I use Coinbase. Do you now? I do. There it, you go. You, you, right. This guy doesn't even get Ted paid by Niv- us. Ted Niv is in. That's Ted Nifferson. Coinbase. Ten. It's tr- <laughs> it's ten. I'm giving that for free. Ten visions ten are here. And thank you for Coinbase hey, to sponsoring it and the yard go. now. All right, man. Did you uh did you enjoy filming with us? What was that like when you left? Were you like, were you happy with that experience working with us? I think I'm, I think I that was to God the first time we worked oh, with you professionally. I was confused. I thought you were just suddenly saying that the uh, like the podcast had just ended no. right now and, you're, and you were immediately. <laughs> All right, guys, let's just uh, hop down the hole. Zero without... latency of no. feedback. Uh, yeah, thread. Sorry for like... context for everyone. If you didn't already watch it, we uh, posted a video where we fucking killed this guy. Yeah. Uh, and it was sh- a short promo piece, so people can watch the show. Did well, dude. It was top of LSF, which means yeah. all the creators reacted to it. Yeah. Pokey reacted to it. Wait, her, really? Her reaction, I watched it because it just popped up in my feed. Had like 50K views what on What was YouTube. her reaction to the word chussy? It was, she was like, I, I didn't see that part because I skipped through. I'm not going to lie. Dude, it's like one minute. Yeah, it's a cl- No, the clip was, the YouTube video is three minutes. <laughs> okay. It's a minute. Well, Look, hey, I'm a go-go goer. So I skipped two minutes into <laughs> the not. end to see your reaction, and she just she's like she's like making this face, like and as I'm skipping through the gore scene, and at the end she goes like, "The mom, hey, why'd you guys recommend me Squid Game? It's so gory." And then that was the clip, and I was like, huh. I was like, "Huh?" So I wait, think, like, wait, what? Was like, that a bit? She planned that bit? No, I think it's just because she thought it was Squid Game. Uh, no, she thought you guys were no, Squid she Game. She was looking at the gore, and it made her think of the gore in Squid Game. Oh, like she just like ignored it. Like yeah, she watched it. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Awesome. She did really ignore it. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, hey. I, you said Iman, like you guys still. are boys. Are you in Pokey Boys? Well, no, I was clarifying who it was because I thought I multiple Pokemon. I wasn't sure if it if you said Poke or if you said Pokey. So that I, I was said uh, her name. I like I, I was just clarify. in Texas and uh, I I spent a little time with Connor and Maya and Connor was talking about this video to Maya because she hadn't heard of it or seen it or like she doesn't really like know much about like the art or whatever. And he was like, my, my, you got to, she's, Connor's doing the thing where he's like, you got to watch this thing oh, that my friend made. Such a bad. And I'm like, I'm sitting there like, like, you know, I love Connor, but I'm sitting there like, I don't want this person. And she's like a little drunk. And I'm like, I don't want this person to have to like be forcibly watching this video with like no context. And like, doesn't, you know, that's the worst situation to be in where you have to like, I'm confiscating the goldfish. From you, oh, you want Let him have it. Let him have it. He keeps munching goldfish. That's good. I'm, I'm literally, I'm doing this strategy where I'm, I'm chewing them as silently as possible. 
I don't hear any chewing. Dude, I don't think it's going to pick it up. And either way, all of our channels are separated. Archie can mute you. It's confiscated. <laughs> it's confiscated. All right, Mr. Yeah, Ogren. Boy, he spoke. Uh, so, so we're in the car, and Connor's like, you got to watch this. So There's he hands her the phone. Here. He hands her the phone, <laughs> and she is, she's watching this. And Aiden, I'm, no, no fuck. <laughs> no goldfish. Come on. Started a revolution. You can't stop it now. You are kind of like the guy from your state who died. The guy... <laughs> I'm the guy from Massachusetts who died. The first guy. You are. This is Aiden on the Edible podcast right now. Reenactment. Anyway, you're showing Maya the video. Are we ready? No, yeah. it's actually the other <laughs> are we way ready? around. Connor's showing Maya the video. So he's showing my, Maya's in the back watching it while me and Connor are in the front. So I just hear, and she's just watching it. And she goes, oh, but it's like kind of early in the video. So I'm like, <laughs> it's just your faces. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, it's not going to be good when she gets further in the video. And then she gets further and she goes, why, why are you? Well, oh, and she like gets a little further. She's like, oh, and I'm like, that's where we puked. And then, and then it gets a little further. She's like, why did you do that? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. What did Con was, was Connor funny. like? Did Connor, he just like, have a look on his face like nice. I mean, Connor loved it. So he was just trying to like share with her something that he really liked. But, you know, obviously for me, I'm like, this is just like the worst situation. Room I'm readers, bro. Room so when readers. do I get to answer the initial question? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, Fred. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm <laughs> um. I forget what it was actually. Ragnificent. Oh, okay, so you're gonna Ragnificent. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, did you enjoy shooting comments, with us? One of the comments was dead Nivison. Uh, dead Nivison? That's, what you that's are funny now, because so. it rhymes. Um, it was a good time shooting. I mean, I always, you know, as I will say, apparently a non interesting fun fact is that I went to film school. And so I always enjoy, I do enjoy uh, being on sets and stuff and, and helping out and stuff. So, I mean, no, it was, a good, it was a good time. It was a good time. It was interesting to see how you guys. We're running it. It seemed, I mean, it went, it went well. My yeah. understanding was you want to do more stuff like that in general. Yeah. You want to work on more projects like that. Yeah. I actually, I had recently hit up someone who's a YouTuber that, that does music. And I was like, Hey, if you want me to like direct a music video or something for you, I will fucking like just fly myself out there and just make it happen. Cause I'm just, I'm trying to give myself more opportunities to uh, do that kind of shit because yeah. it's really easy when you do YouTube. And have that as your main zone to kind of get honed in on that and kind of put your construct a bubble for yourself. And if you have like outside interests um, in like in like actual like film production and stuff like that, then you I it takes a quite a bit of effort to actually make it happen. Are you interested in writing too? Kind of. I'm not. It, it's one of those things where with writing. It's one of it's one of those actions where I like the idea of doing it, but it it takes some extra energy to really push myself to actually go and do it. Whereas other stuff feels more natural and it makes it and it's more like a fun work kind of thing. Yeah. So Ted, Ted, I have a creative writing degree. Hmm. I have a creative writing degree. The other non interesting degree. Hmm. English like, literature is cool though. Just so you guys know, if you guys want to pursue that, we're a team. You guys are now a team, and we're yeah. and yeah. we're the same yeah. now. You have right. to work on the. <laughs> so you've got a creative direct. Okay. <laughs> the, okay uh, tell, uh, tell me something real creative right now. Oh, you want something creative? Yeah, yeah. that would go well in writing. You've got three seconds. Oh, yeah, sure. How about this one for your, for your mind? Uh, diaper couples. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go on. No, no that's, that's it. it. That's now it, now you're wondering, what does that mean? Is it people that like diapers that. and their couples together? Is it a couple of you diapers? You want to chew on diaper <laughs> couples? I want to chew on other's? that idea. This is, the, this is my baby shoes never worn. Okay, here's a... <laughs> no, I see. I see oh, it. It's yeah. Adam Sandler. It's Rob Schneider. Okay. Here, here's <laughs> it's, a, it's all coming to me really yeah, fast. Yeah, here's a fun little podcast moment that we could do. Let's, let's, let's flesh this out. Yeah, you said you wanted to chew on it? Mm, yeah, let's, let's, let's chew let's, on let's this. Let's chew on this. So diaper couples, all right? What's So diaper couples, maybe they are from a faraway tribe of diaper people they only wear diapers <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but all of a sudden we're um, pooping your pants is like a, all a, of a sudden one of the small little spiritual thing like yeah it's a spiritual diaper thing one of the small little younger members of the diaper tribe they get washed away in a river or something and all of a sudden they get washed all the way i mean the in new york city is, they're is in new york no, no. city no you're right yeah, yeah. they're is, in new is, york is this city just Look, superman no, no 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 it's buddy cop <laughs> it's buddy cop fish out of water yeah, with a little bit of sherlock yeah now the diaper couple has to make a trip from big. their diaper tribe to the big si the big apple that's All right, right. hold on no, it, no in, right. in new york the boy meets a girl who finds out his secret that he wears a diaper that's right but then she reveals that she also is wearing oh, so a diaper so we start off with Wait, one individual. One, one individual. So he's meeting his, his diaper partner. 
So she she walks in and in the it's like one city. of those scenes where it's like, oh no, and but it's like his diapers out. And she's like, you wear a diaper? And he's yeah. like, yeah, I, and I've pooped it, too. It's, it's like, on HBO. There's shit everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> really graphic. Do you poop in that? Game of Thrones yeah. graphic. Yeah. And I pee, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ashamed of me? No. I actually think it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like, I told this story on the, the podcast, but guy? this literally happened. Like, and, what we're describing actually didn't happen. And scene. And that's the pilot, right? Yeah. So this is how a writer's room works, this guys. This is a show. This and is not a movie. It's actually a recreation oh, yeah, it's a of, of the okay. Genesis story in the Bible. It's, it's an allegory. Adam and Eve were diaper people. That's true. The leaf diapers. Yeah, Jesus the fig leaf on water. was a diaper. That's right. And they shat on that leaf. Yeah. And they shat in front of each other. Yeah. And right. Adam and Eve just fucking pop into existence and they're like, oh shit. And they look down and Literally. they're like, I should cover that. And they go and they're like, this will do. And they both just take leaves and they think, just cover that. Do you that think was the Adam, first diaper. Do you think Adam made her bust? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Not if he was bald. No, I'm shy. Damn. <laughs> Come on. She made him bust. <laughs> oh. Put her there, bro. Hey, welcome um, to the show. <laughs> I mean, well, what if in that universe, this the snake, serpent, evil, um, Snakes are bald. offered a diaper... <laughs> To Eve rather than an Snakes apple. are bald. And she, and she took the <laughs> And she diaper. ate out of it. And that was man's first Are you guys just writing her, a decom her not lie? Sharing the well, diaper. Well, that's actually crazy because, and you bring up a good point, the snake is bald. Mm-hmm. He's the adult. He has no... Oh, you, what, thought that wasn't, just what, you thought that wasn't a symbol. You thought I, that was an accident. So they've been writing the bald people as the enemies... <laughs> since the dawn of from, man. <laughs> from the beginning. I mean, 6,000 yeah. years ago when the earth was started. When the that's hair a hair snake. Statement. Is no one else bald in the Bible? <laughs> when, when, oh. when God was doing the Tony Hawk build a character for like every person, Jesus. He, just, he just went to zero and was like, oh, that looks fucked up. <laughs> we should put those this in there. This guy's bad. For Jesus sure. is like the opposite of bald, if you think about it. Yeah, he's he has got long so hair. much hair. He has hair. <laughs> he's yeah. so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Our, our our icon of the perfect person had hair. Yeah, I yeah, don't think there's like any guys. bald people in the Bible at all. Yeah, Bruce Willis is the only person. What about yeah. the the giant? Was he bald? Goliath. Goliath. You also a bad guy. That's true. But wasn't he? I, no, but he had hair for sure. He had like long hair. Really? I swear to God. I shit. swear to God. I remember a depiction. <laughs> Zipper, of dude. Zipper, Goliath. Goliath. In the Bible. Do you know where the? He uh, was like. Had hair here. He had like that, uh, like that bishop cut or whatever you see getting Dark Souls. Or, you know what I'm talking about? The um, horseshoe. Yeah, something yeah. like that. You know the story of Delilah and Samson. Samson, she. Yeah, he yeah. wrote the song. Like he wrote the whole "Hey there" thing for her. Yeah, dude, nice, nice, thanks, man. Samson had hair, What's it uh -huh. like? and it was really long. <laughs> yeah, and she cut it, and it was a source of his power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it sucked. Damn. For him. Yeah, it literally has been since God. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I'm in a press class. I'm a t I'm Italian, POC. True. And I'm bald. Uh, yeah. Ted, what's your goal? Because I asked Ludwig what his goal is, and he's just like, I don't know, it's to be pog. Pog all But like, you, you seem like more of a thinking <laughs> human who has like well. thoughts and dreams and like things like, is it to, to produce a feature one day? Or like, what's the big thing that you want you know, to achieve? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think it's tough to determine like what my ultimate real goal fucking goal is but i would like to make um some piece of work like that i directed that would be featured in i think a, like maybe a, a shorter term not like ultimate magnum opus goal would just be some piece of work that would be featured in maybe like a film festival of of notability maybe i think that would be pretty so cool are you looking for like a feature or like a short like if i th like maybe even just a really really good short film yeah okay yeah. have mm -hmm. you ever had a Ambition. We were we were chatting about of that type. This kind of stuff pretty recently. Yeah, I told we... Nick about my idea. Wait, what? What's your idea? I, okay, I told so you my idea. We're off track from each other. What? Which Remember, idea? I messaged you and I said I had a great idea. You didn't tell me about it. You know, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened. I have a great idea, and then he never talks about it. I showed everyone. We were all at dinner when I got this message from Ludwig, and uh, Ludwig messaged me, "Yo, I got a big idea," and I'm like, "That's great," and then the no response. And I go, do I you do I have to wait until I'm home from Texas to hear it? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can and we, that was it. So it? I haven't heard no, your fucking idea. A, no no one it? can hear it. No one can hear it? Yeah, Except... no one can hear it. Well, the, the, you guys can hear it. Just the viewers at home can't yeah. hear it. Well, is it, so I asked that because, like, Kickball was Ludwig's big project even way, way back. Like, back when he was, like, a small bear. You were a tiny yeah, little bear. Yeah, I'm working on Kickball for and a year and a half. And then Kickball finally came together because COVID, like, fucked with everything. But it became, like, this big-ass thing. 
and uh, your your goals are often like more in the space of like where you are. And I don't know. I feel like mine are always different because I I hate I hate I hate it. I think that I think what that, is, did I you, think what, that, how did you hate what, wait, what do you hate? Yeah, that that it wasn't. He hates being a content creator. No, I get what you you're saying. I get what he's space. saying, but I think his goals are just more. I think he is already doing what he wants to be doing. No, I'm bald. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's to be. Are you're, we that's having not something a you're doing. <laughs> I I weirdly understand what he means. I talked to my friend <laughs> he, from he high it. school. My friend from high school. He gets it. Listens to the yard. His name's Jake, and he said, and I quote, "Slime's funny." But man, I feel like that guy's fucking he's dumb sometimes. How <laughs> <laughs> big Jake, bro? Uh Jake takes he's like two fucking fifteen right now. He's oh, like a big guy. Yeah. But he said he would he'd love to hang out with you. He said he thinks he'd like it. So we'd be friends instead of fight. He also, to be clear, thinks he's probably dumb as bricks. That's high. There you go. Yeah. Dude, I like that guy. You know what I did on the way home? I watched the Big Lebowski. That was a great movie. I watched first time. I, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. And I realized that he's he's Ben. In a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Who's yeah. Ben? Ben Tolson. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, you Bend know over. what I am? As I'm a producer role in a lot of these ways. So, like, when you guys made the ad for The Yard, I'm the producer of that. So, I had, like, a bunch of people give me praise in my chat. And You're I'm the like, bank yeah, role. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. worries, guys. No, no, you know what that's called, Ludwig? That's called being an executive yeah, producer. Yeah, you are an exec. Yeah. You're which an exec is a producer. great spot which is to when, have. Which is when a studio just pays... An actor or some notable uh -huh. person just to have their name on. Which the is project. why, by the way, which is why I never give Ludwig any shit for like his lack of involvement in a project physically, because the funding part is literally what everyone struggles to do. Yeah. Everyone is constantly pitching, but we can just go to him and be like, "We have an idea," and he's like, "Okay," and then we do it, and he gets to be like, "It's my thing." Well, I'm I mean, never mad about the that. Ludwig Ogren. But when he doesn't message ad. me back about fucking regular shit, I'm like, you're not giving me money for this. Just reply. Yeah, it's true. Why don't you just like walk into his room and just slap him around a little bit? You'd okay, think that. You'd think that, yeah. But he like, doesn't leave his room, dude. Okay, well, okay, he's also bigger on. than us. He intimidates us physically off the clock. Dude, where's Croc? How are you intimidated <laughs> by him? He's strong. Really? The only roommate strong, that used Ted. to be able to take him doesn't live here anymore. How much, how much do you lift? How much do I lift? I don't know. I don't fucking lift. <laughs> okay, I would take you. Yeah, you just got. You just got. I would God take all six genetics. four of you into the ground. Hey man, I held my own against a six hundred pound uh, Japanese world champion. I saw that, wrestler. and you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I moved him a little bit. He yeah. was just counting on none of us. They literally the do the thing where in movies where the guy stands there and Ted's like trying to fucking move him. The guy's just standing there, and Ted's using all his might to push him an inch. I moved him a little bit. Do you can you say the same? I move the earth a little bit every time I jump. Science fact for you. I, that not a science, not no, a fact no. or science. How dare you? None of what you just said. <laughs> I have a question. How dare you? I have a question. Uh, um, we have a topics channel in our uh, private Discord for like organizing the the show. Oh, very and, uh, fun. And uh, Anthony posted in there jigsaw fart puzzle, <laughs> and I would like to know what that meant because I was in Texas when he posted this, <laughs> and I read it and went. <laughs> it's gonna be an episode. Yeah, when we this come is back. when this is about when I thought to myself, "Man, I wish I went to Texas." <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm downstairs, and it's like it's like really late at night. It's like me and Eamon just like in the fucking kitchen. It's dark. He's walking and getting water. Jake saw a fart puzzle. And so, <laughs> and so I walk by and I look at him, and it's like dark, and I just fart, and then he's like. Yeah. <laughs> he's not happy about it and he walks through my like fart area to get his water and then i'm like hey man <laughs> you you always don't you never respond when you're sleeping to your friends dms hey man now you're about to find out what it's really now, like now you have to respond to and it's basically it's basically like a jigsaw puzzle i have this idea it's a jigsaw puzzle but it's like it's just you're like dealing with a really Dude, you have to fart. you have to like fart into like a tank and fill it up a certain amount. <laughs> his, and his, you his can't do it and die. Binary choice was quote, oh, yeah. in the jigsaw voice. <laughs> Are we talking fart. jigsaw as in like saw? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was. It oh, was, okay. So when you like, say jigsaw puzzle, the whole thing I have in my mind is like <laughs> like these are the two images you've created in my mind for like most of this conversation is a jigsaw puzzle that you do on a rainy day and then just like a floating cloud of gas and I'm like how do <laughs> these connect? Together. And you have to do one. Yeah. Um, to, the, he comes home like pretty late. It's dark. He's standing in the hall, like with his arms out, speaking in the jigsaw voice. <laughs> and he's like, 
you have to smell the fart or die. <laughs> and I'm like, it's like, why is that? Yeah, it like, oh, sounds like a choice. bad porno. <laughs> a, bad, a bad, really kinky porno. I was just in the kitchen. I was like, why is that the binary? Like, what? <laughs> okay. That's a jigsaw yeah. situation. Yeah, I'll, Did you do I'll it? smell it. Did I'll smell it. it. Did you sniff it? No, I didn't. I, didn't, I walked so through you're it. Dead now. <laughs> Man, I mean, he's standing right here to tell the tale, bro. That's true. I took it. I take it every time. <laughs> he says that like he's such a man. Your presence <laughs> yeah, here yeah, is evidence it. of the of you being the fart smeller. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, that's right. The jigsaw victim. Are you or... a fart like joke guy? Like, do you fart with the boys and it's like a thing, or like you guys, these guys? <laughs> like, you, you mean you like say... rip one and be, and then like everyone bursts into yeah. laughter, like it's the best thing. Ever. Yeah. Um, I don't not not necessarily. Cool. Hold on, I don't, I don't like the way he said that because it makes it sound yeah, like, like I'm roped into this, no, as if yeah, hey, I'm please, in, if I'm in the corner. I did that with a bunch of fart guys over <laughs> yeah. here. Me, Nick, Aiden, and Slime. No. We, we love farts. Please. Well, <laughs> sometimes I'll be sitting I there with Aiden. And there's rip one, one guy who chooses <laughs> to do it often. <laughs> Wait, which, and, which guy? I mean, we we started with it. We we got ready with a fart. That's yeah. right. You're different now. I hated about that because you're changing. You've changed. No, I just have to shit. Come on. Wouldn't be as much of a problem if you were part of the diaper tribe. Uh, yeah. That's back, right. Back, we're back on the diaper tribe. Super understandable. That's on, right. On, on, the, on the topic of, like, uh, like archetypes, I guess, uh, for Chuckle Sandwich, how would you, like, classify the three people on the show? Like, we kind the of all have our thing. Show. Like, Aiden's, like, the normie. You know, Ludwig's, like, the, the rich, aloof one. You know, I'm, like, the, the cool chat. <laughs> yeah, every podcast. And then, you know, Anthony's the bald guy. So, like, what? what <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what, what, is, what is, like, the three of you in your eyes? I would say. What do you bring to the table? Um, I would say that probably, in terms of my role, I definitely fall into the zone of like being like the host kind of thing. I mean, uh -huh. I started the podcast, so I kind of like am wrangling the guys and also like kind of feeding them topics. You and feel stuff like you're like guiding that. the conversation I don't, along. Yeah, I I feel like I very often. That's Anthony for us. Yeah. Um. We're the same. <laughs> we are one. We have the same. <laughs> doesn't it suck to have it to say you're so... the same? Yeah. <laughs> he it does it at bad times too. He'll like do something it, bad. And you say know, just it. a brief summary of how, how it feels to be on the end of that sentence. On the end of, of what like I just being... said to you. Oh, he does that a lot. We're the yeah. same. Yeah. We're the same. Yeah. Um, soul crushing. Aiden comes up to me sometimes and he's like, "We're not the same, bro." <laughs> I don't know why he keeps saying that. Saying to me. Like, we're not. But the same. I mean, I will say it is interesting to hear like this this bald shit and this stuff, especially if he fulfills that role. Because one of the things that Charlie and Schlatt like to do, as I'm the host on the show, is they had this bit at the beginning of the podcast where they would, and it's continuing to this day where they just claim that I've done these terrible things to them in the past, like break their knees or like oh, yeah. beat the shit out of them. So I I definitely do get a lot of like the the comedic. Uh, shit throwing, but um, I would say that uh, Sh Schlatt is he. I think very often with Schlatt's comedy, he will sit and wait for his moment to say something uh <laughs> ridiculous, yeah, or like shocking, and and then he'll take that in the moment, or he'll find something very very specific that he wants to talk about, or <laughs> or like just be pissed about, and he'll he'll go with that. And and somewhere along the way, he'll just find some way to spin it that'll make it really really funny. Um, have you ever had like? Have you ever seen Schlatt emotional? Um, have you ever accessed the true core of him? Because he might be your Ludwig to us. Potentially, I mean, there I. You seen I, him cry? I would say I've never seen him cry. <laughs> I I think that I've gotten closer with Schlatt over the over the time that we've done uh, Chuckle Sandwich. Part of the reason why I started Chuckle Sandwich was because with Schlatt and Charlie, I was like, okay, these are two people that I really enjoy making content with, and I want to get to know them better. So I, and in my past experience in working with them, they were always able to come through for like projects and stuff. And mm. they were always like, reliable. yeah, they were very, they're very reliable guys. So I was like, this seems like a perfect opportunity to like make something really, really cool. Um, but, and, and to answer your question with, with Charlie, I would say that like Charlie's whole thing is obviously he's got his puns. He's got his very, he's got a different sort of like brand of humor that he brings to the podcast where it's, um, it, it is it like the lovable eye rolly guy where it's like, he says it and you're like, come yeah, on, but yeah. and they have a pun guy and he, they have a pun guy. His yeah. is, his is like, Anthony hates puns. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Cause I, I be all right. <laughs> I've, I've given opportunities to, I've, I've had oppor multiple opportunities to try to describe these guys as humor, but I mean. It's it's a little tough. I mean, how would you guys describe it from an outside perspective? I think maybe me and Ludwig. I don't know. Have you listened to the show? Yeah, uh, Anthony. I don't think you have. I, right? It's hard for me. I watch documentaries. 
Uh, <laughs> if you make a documentary, <laughs> I'll watch it. I either watch documentaries or Tuckle Sandwich. If you're, by the way. if you're familiar with the with us as individuals, you'll that'll that pretty much. I think I think you painted it really well, and I I think that like I, so like my experience watching, I think like. I think one of the I, we talked about this briefly, like when we were at your place. Mm-hmm. I, I was saying how like Schlatt is one of the, one of those people who just has that superpower, where like he just can kind of say things and people will laugh even yeah. when he misses because it's like still kind of on brand for him mm-hmm. to like miss but not care. And uh, I think well, that he like, had that kind of moment at, at your uh, your roast. That's a roast. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like I, I was I was talking specifically about that and how like not many people can go up and bomb, and that was their joke. You have to you have to have lived a certain type of life yeah. and be a person. Yeah, Mizkiff bombed in a very traditional Miz, way. Yeah, like <laughs> same thing, but it did not. Like Miz bomb. actually bombed, and like people were laughing at him, but like Schlatt bombed, and people were laughing with him. And and I think the reason for that is because um like Schlatt, he he has I feel like Miz Miz by comparison has just like he is has so much that he says and and talks about, but when Schlatt has a more limited like appearance. And when he shows up, and it's more intentional in that mm. in that Speak sense. Speak less, and you're heard more. There's a scarcity, yeah. Uh, he, uh, he's a bit too cool for school. So like, so like when he when he came up during that roast, it was like, okay, what's what's going on here? And then obviously, like him just doing nothing was just like, oh, that's ridiculous that that's what he came with. Yeah, I pushed uh, for that laugh track, by the way. Speaking speaking of roasts, I feel like because I was watching the the most recent one, the soda popping roast. Roast is soda popping, and on the you know some people were there. No, some I was there. Yeah, if you were, didn't know. Yeah, no, it was. No, I was you there. were great. <laughs> I didn't. Wa- I didn't watch it all, but oh. I thought I'm. Usually, I'm gonna be real. Usually, I'm do be real. With that I stuff. didn't even know it happened. I just saw a clip that was sent to me of you, and I was like, "Wait, this happened?" Well, yeah. So I, I was, I was watching it uh, at the beginning, and I saw you're, you're there. Yeah, I'm just hanging you out. Were, Wait, you're you were, there? Yes, he's the spectator of all he's roasts. In the audience. You've just been, you've just That's been crazy. silently I, I met, watching I've, all I've, the roasts that have happened thus far. I know. I, I, and I met, I met Soda Poppin like this week. Yeah. <laughs> so like, but it, I think it was just the context was that I, uh, I think I was talking with Austin. He was like, "Oh, we're doing this roast of Soda Poppin," and he, he needed like audience members. And I was like, "Oh, I'll come by. I got nothing going on." Um, well, that was kind of the context of like when you came to the one at our place. It was uh, you showed up kind of kind of like later than everybody. It was like, oh yeah, Ted's coming, and we were like, yeah, who's Ted? That and was, that was like and Big then, T. And then you just sat down, like so, watched the whole thing. A, and then, that's <laughs> an interesting thing, uh, context behind that because it was that was how long ago was that roast? A few months. It was in a few months ago. That was like the I, close to one of the first times that I had like seen Schlatt since the beginning of like the whole pandemic situation thing. Oh, wow. So I was like still <laughs> Schlatt's an interesting character because he's like, you know, he's Schlatt. So I was still establishing where our friendship was where I could be like, hey, could I come along to this Ludwig Rose thing? Because I don't think we so had met, I don't think we, so had, I don't weird, think we had met you yet. Yeah. Which, uh, so it was it was one of those I, I'm at the point now where I where where I'm with Schlatt where I realize like he's just the kind of person you'd have to text him a bunch just to, and bother him and then and then things will happen but yeah. back then i was like back then i'm so used to being the kind of person that is just used to being invited to things that i felt weird about like like p- putting myself in that position but i really wanted to see all these people and uh, and meet folks and let me tell you i expected time. more from you as an audience member at the soda roast i was it was i thought it was really funny I did was you a good bomb time. the audience member role I don't, I, don't I don't think, think I you're did. a great fake laugher how did he wow. choke it what do you mean well so at the beginning of the roast right because it's like 15 people maybe they are the most soulless no, fucking no productions way you ever my made. Conduct from that roast. I remember. We'll, we'll get to that. Because what happened is Austin comes out and he's like, "All right, like, look, this is gonna be on stream. If you don't have a laugh track, you guys can just like laugh really loud." It's gonna be loud, on stream. It's a piece of really shit loud. product that oh, we're just shoving out the door. It's not gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm talking about Soda's roast. Okay. Austin specifically asked for everyone to like laugh and like you know hype up everything and like you know just like because it's pretty easy to just go like, huh, at a joke or something, but that that it, that comes across very dead on stream. So they not have a laugh track. So no. Are you saying that I wasn't? They don't know what I was doing. laughing a bunch. Of, were you? Still. I felt like I was. Were you watching? I me well, and, I was and, Hawkeye you, and I was like, "Look at this fucker not laughing okay. at my jokes." Here's some. Here's, here's, <laughs> oh, when you were doing your joke. Uh huh. Well, so, right, uh, what do you say? He no, no, I have a thing for that. Laugh. I was thinking I that. They, say, they weren't funny. You weren't funny. I yeah. will <laughs> say this. I will say this thing. There is a lot of under in that roast. I noticed there's a lot of underlying meta that came with the Twitch world that I'm. You know, I'm generally streamer. Jason, as you've said in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, no, no, no. So they hate each other so all in real life. <laughs> it's the blood. Well, there's and just jokes that I just the don't know the context of or yeah. understand. So if, if, like, the I was trying to make like, myself laugh, but I also didn't want to be like. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that your you fake laugh? That's no, I, that, what fake laugh would you rock? Oh, wait, I tell, tell him, a joke. Lead him okay, up. Ready, tell him ready, a joke. Okay, okay. And, and, and that's when I said, you're bald, fucker. Maybe you're fake laughing. Oh, I thought you were going to do a fake laugh. No, 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 well, he's leading I'm, you in. I'm, I'm <laughs> cutting the cut. set. Uh, Ludwig, that was great. Ted, okay. we need a little more from you this time. You want me to it. fake laugh I on this I can't work podcast? with this guy. Front, yeah. No, from the top. I, I know. We're almost, out. Guy. we're almost out for the do day. Do not have me over this This is our last laugh of the day. We're out. All right, Ludwig, from the top and action. I grip it and I said, you're bald, fucker. <laughs> nice. That's really good. That's really good. That's a crazy. That's so very were, convincing. You were bringing that to the table. <laughs> what? You were bringing that to the table. No, he was not. No shot after any laugh. He went nice. <laughs> I went nice. I did. I said nice. <laughs> good one. Oh my god. I didn't say that. Classic. Okay. Uh, well, here's the thing. I did laugh at one of your jokes though because I helped you write one. <laughs> oh. oh so you hard, okay. You hard fake laughed at that joke. Mm hmm. Because I knew I was like. Which one was that, it? Wh whoever helped with that joke is really funny. Uh, the joke was Austin did a Genshin Impact sponsored stream. Yeah, it had I, like I two K viewers. I helped, I helped with half of it. It had two K viewers, and I said, uh, I said, um, Austin doing a Genshin Impact stream is like. Mm. And then I said, I wanted an example of a celebrity endorsement that that, that doesn't make sense. You know. Okay. Uh, so uh, I said that's like Lil Nas X doing a Catholic Church sponsorship. That's what we went with. That was a joke. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I could have gone with Unabomber USPS. He's critical. I am I'm very critical. Mr. Creative Writing over here. Being a <laughs> it's all I got. More like cynical writing. I don't, I don't know why your laugh brought this memory back, but I, I have no other platform to tell you this and have it be entertaining. Uh, at the uh, 100, you, you ever like this, this like phenomena that happens where like you have like a specific image in your head or memory that all it just comes back to you all the time for like years and years. Yeah. And so I have one of those. It hasn't been years yet. I don't have the sample size. But every time I hear that song, uh, what's that big TikTok song? It's like, being an astronaut in the ocean. Oh, oh yeah, it's what you that. know about rolling down in the deep when so that song goes. So when we were at the Hunter Thieves Foundation thing, uh, it was like the second time I saw Ted ever, I think. Yeah. And uh, he came up, and that song started playing, and he was like, "This is that song." And I did, I had never heard it. It was my first time ever hearing it, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And he's like, "You know the TikTok song." And then he gets like she squats down real low and he starts singing it and he's like swaying side to side like this, <laughs> like a crab man. Yeah. And he's like he's got his jaw like pushed out and he's like singing the lyrics. <laughs> that is always in my head. <laughs> I, I literally <laughs> not even cryptids. when the song is playing. That is just in my head all the time and I can't remove it. That's the problem. It's like a demon. Like I'll just be so sitting there and then it'll pop in and I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> I One usually time. have a good memory, but what you are <laughs> what you are telling me right now, I have zero <laughs> recollection of. Well, but I, 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 all of I, it was sucked into my brain. Yeah. Because I'll be like, in one time I was in the I car. I can see myself doing it. Like, this is like, okay, that's on brand. <laughs> I can see you doing it too. One, yeah, time, one time I was just driving Squad. and that image came in my head and then I just listened to the song. Because yeah. I was like, is that how I, how I get rid of it? I have one of those things <laughs> with you that I think about all the really? time. <laughs> so every time we get ramen, I think about this. Because one of the first times we ever got dinner together, we got ramen. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. And we talked for like a while and I oh. never really met you. And then at the end, I paid. And you're like, oh, man, you don't got to pay. And I was like, all right, that's all right, man. And you're like, all right, I got you in the next one. And you never got me. Wait, what? <gasps> you never really? got me on the next one. Wait, wait, wait. When it, you, do you mean when I went the to your place? The next one, you didn't get him. No, do you mean when I went to your no, place? No, this was ramen at your place. Wait, what? when Not, was this? Like, this is at the poop house. We got ramen nearby. Oh, the piss and shit yeah, house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember this at all. I thought you were talking about the time. So, so Well, I've gotten you at this point. Uh-huh. But you haven't got me. Probably got balanced you got, wait, you, you got me on Bucky's clean. <laughs> but your ramen bill is at zero. All right, look. Bucky's hey, plus like next thousands. Time, next time we get ramen, the the I mean, gyoza's on me, maybe? Ah. <laughs> gyoza. I, I thought you were talking about the time. One time, uh, so I was trying to like get hired by like Team Liquid, and Ludwig let me stay at his house because it was way closer to like the job. And we, me and him went and got ramen together, and we played credit card roulette. So for people who don't know, you put all the credit cards of people who are there on the table upside down. I've and, never lost. And uh, the waiter comes over, and you say, just pick one. And they'll pay for everything, and uh, and then you know it's stressful because you're like, oh, do I do I pay nothing or I pay fucking two hundred dollars? But it was just us two, so it was like not that high stakes. But we did order a lot, um, or maybe maybe Zeke was there too. I think I, someone else might. Um, and the, <laughs> the waitress comes over and we're like playing. We explain credit card roulette, and uh, she's like, oh, I don't know. And uh, on the way over, I was saying something like, I think it was your card. Your card was red. Yeah. Right. I was like, oh, you're fucked. Like your card's red, and he's like, that has nothing to do with it. And I'm like, she's going to pick your car. And the waiter, waiter waitress comes over, and I'm like, we, we explain credit card roulette. And she goes, I like red. 
She <laughs> says it out loud. Yeah. And then she grabs the card, and I'm busting up laughing. And, like, that was when you were poor, too. annoyingly, too. She's like, I like red. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah, cool. I like purple, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Ludwig had like $100 in his bank account. Yeah, so. I have a great strat for that now. I've developed one. Uh, Someone was roasting me because I still use like a federal credit union from New Hampshire that I've had since I was still? 16. I still use it to this day. Yeah, you just got to get like Bank of America. It has a, they got features. It has a $1,000 credit limit. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. I, it's very ineffective and inefficient, but that's what I use. And anytime credit card roulette comes up, it's like this dusty ass card that just looks so <laughs> generic. Like I have a they feel bad limit. picking you. Yeah, they never pick me if they get to look. By by the way, dude, I I have this is the day I knew I've been mentally fucking broken was today because Ludwig lost his wallet. He lost it, and it's fucking gone. And he lost it over the weekend, and it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I have to replace gone. everything. Uh, I even went to the oh. place where he thinks he lost it, whatever. And I come home, and I went there without question just to check because they didn't pick up the phone. And I come home, and it's in the morning, and I, he's sleeping because he just got in. And I'm like, hey, your wallet's gone. He's like, oh, man, because I know he doesn't give a shit because I have to fix it. <laughs> and then I was like, I should have had a tile in there. Like, I should have yeah. had something <laughs> in there so we could find it. This is my fault. He and said then, that because then, this is on me. And then Cutie, Cutie's in the room and brings him back down to reality. She's like, no, it's his fault. Like, I, I wasn't like beating myself up, yeah. but I was just like, I could have stopped this. Like, And Tyle, if you're listening, uh, you know, we'd love to work hey. together. I'm like Theon Greyjoy. <laughs> so you watch Game you of Thrones? Yeah. My cock is gone. Is Theon what? the one that gets like <laughs> destroyed and like assaulted and tied up? Yeah, yeah. by Ramsey Bolton. Yeah. That's, yeah, and that's, his cock is I, gone. And that's Ramsey? what you're like. <laughs> You're am like I, that am guy. Am I Ramsey Bolton? Yeah, dude. Damn. He's Just Ramsey. Just by losing things. Your, yeah. your no, lack no, no. of doing it's things been, is what causes it. It's been it. a long one. Yeah? You know how high strong I am? Yeah, I mean, you, you look like... You sound like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> you get stressed out. I can't believe what he did this weekend! <laughs> yeah, what were you going to ask me? Ludwig lost his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> he lost it, Jerry! I can't believe he lost it again! I realize I don't this need is like, to. This is like Spongebob or something? What are they talking I about? traveled I like, <laughs> to Boston for a three-day trip. I had a cell phone in my passport, I... and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Do the whole thing. Go ahead. Travel no, don't do the whole thing. Boston. Boston. Boston across the country. Massachusetts. And the thing about terrifying. Boston, the thing about Boston is, yeah, I'm sorry. Boys, uh, sorry. I'm sorry. No, hey, you know hey, what? I else? traveled with my nothing. mother. <laughs> I did watch a video of yours. I think this is the first time I've ever watched an entire video of Ludwig's uh -huh. without me being in it. Full retention. Full retention. <laughs> it was your Love one that. about uh, why like Twitch is fucking up. Sure. And yeah. I, I was like, this is interesting. And it's then I watched video. the whole thing, and it's a good video. I did. I. I did click on that video. I think I had something to do, but I Retention? was no. But the, I'm in terms. You bookmarked of, that one though, no, right? In, you bookmarked it. Yeah, watch, watch later. Later. Um, <laughs> in terms of interest generated by it, I was like, oh, true, because I did see that. What What was it? It was about the, the boosting. Yeah, it's thing. the boosting thing they're doing. You like pay up. It's like a viewer can pay money. For a you you like, saw it. You get it, right? No, no. I had an ADHD moment, but I'm going to let him finish this story. Oh, I thought he's, he's, he's doing the YouTube voice. And, uh, but and just know that I have something that I'm yeah, thinking please, about we'll saying the up. whole time. But uh, but yeah, it was just you can boost people's streams. Like viewers can boost in re for like recommendations, which I think is it's just super cringe. It's like Facebook shit. Yeah, you explained it really well in your in your video. It, it, it was it was Ludwig made a good video. The yeah. video, Shocker, I, dude. Next video. I made a good video. I watched the whole I watched the whole thing, too. I watched that video. <laughs> and at the end of the video, I was like, I, I really, I really like that one. And I was like, what this you... reminds me of, of Hold an on. Atrioc video. Touch his hand a lot. Wow. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, 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 I'm fine. He, That's fine uh, with me. Just kind of <laughs> I don't care. More long form, like explanatory content. I like and, that uh, Ludwig's moving in an Atrioc direction. Yeah. yeah. And, and you have a lot of catching up to do, <laughs> but... See, what I like about Ludwig's content <laughs> yeah. is that I've always felt that... <laughs> Ted, what were you going to say? <laughs> yes. uh, so you had okay, something. so when you said boosting, you said boosting. Boosting. And there was a sp particular sound to that that reminded me of recently when I was running on... I didn't sleep. There was this period of time I had edited a video and I didn't sleep for like 27 hours. I think it actually ended up being like 31. And I thought of a word, a phrase that you can use. I even posted about it on TikTok that... <laughs> I oh, think that is, one. I think is really, <laughs> mm. really good. So when you say that you really want something, for instance, I'm, I'm, I'm want more of that goldfish, but obviously we've got the fucking dragon guard in the treasure here. Um, <laughs> no, you can say that you're goosing for it. 
<laughs> goosin? I'm goosing for so some like, goldfish. So like, like dude, I am goosing for some ramen tonight. Let's yeah. get some ramen. I'm goosing yeah. for that. Me shit. and the boys are goosing and for I've some already, pussy. I've already introduced like Schlatt to it. Schlatt used it with me in, in a text conversation already. And I was What's funny is you guys have enough power to make it a term that people That's understand. That's what I'm thinking. It's a I... lot of power to wield. This happened there was a thread on uh on the podcast subreddit today, and I told Anthony about this. And the thread was have you guys adopted any yardisms Some from, the, from the podcast? And the top comment is, I now end every conversation with frag out. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird because we, we don't do that. Yeah. We don't, it was, <laughs> that was a one-off it was just, joke, but I like that. It was a single episode bit, but I liked it That's a lot. We, yeah. we have something on the on Chuckle Sandwich that we do because it, it, it stemmed from when we were talking about our childhood little stuffed animals and when we named them. And I guess Schlatt and Charlie found it uh, especially ridiculous that my childhood stuffed animal, Beanie Baby, growing up was named, it was a puppy, and I named it Favorite Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a freak. Yeah. What? You're a sociopath. You named it, come here, Favorite Puppy. That is so well, weird. I'm Implying sorry. Implying there I, are others I, uh, that you don't, what do you call them? No, it's a clarifying statement in case no, there yeah. was amongst the others, that is Favorite Puppy. I mean, it's straightforward. That hurts for the okay, other puppies. Okay, that's, I mean... <laughs> You're, there are kids. No, no, are, no. That's ah! weird. That's that's weird. Okay, that's it's pretty much as literal as like when Let's a kid has a brown dog and they just name it psychopath. Brownie. No, no, no. no that's not different. Not the same though. No. Because that's like a name. Like that's like saying same. like Tiny Dog, and that's my dog's <laughs> name. It's Tiny Dog. That'd be a pretty funny name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you're free. I get it out. To be fair, to be fair, we literally <laughs> run around the house and call. Durs Kitty Man. So that's my, true. It's, it that's is, a nickname. It is a nickname. It's not on his papers. Yeah, it's not if on his papers. Was, I, if he was calling his dog Spot, oh, who's my favorite dog? I really that'd do be different. Like, his I, government name's different. I really do like the the well to finish the context of that of that. Basically, we started saying things that we if we like something we'd say, oh, that's favorite puppy. Is now what we do. <laughs> that's so weird. No, yeah, I like that. It's very strange. No, it's because it's like tight butthole, right? Um, oh yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, type yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Oh please. yeah, <laughs> I want to be included. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't watch workah- You didn't watch Workaholics? Nah. What? Workaholics the TV He's show. He's twenty three, bro. No, I honestly, there's. You so should many go things back and seen. watch Workaholics. He watches iCarly and Spongebob. Workaholics is still funny. Yeah. I just watched it. Like, I, I, I've been meaning to watch Workaholics, but I had that know. same thing happen to me with words. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Goosen, by the way. Yeah. I, I like Goosen. Goosen is I'll, good. I'll be Goosen. I like that. Goosen. Can, yeah. can I? Okay. So Her muff was Goosen for some cum. This is this <laughs> is part. <laughs> What'd you just say? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, What'd you just that, say? That sounds like a line from In Betweeners. <laughs> I didn't hear what he that's said. That's like the. That's like the, <laughs> That's your version of pull my bud. I, I those birds are. I just wanted to for... use your She's your word for my hog. Your word <laughs> in a sentence that I would say. All the time. And to the 10% of yeah. our audience, uh, so, so, this is hog. not your yeah. episode. Go ahead and skip this one. <laughs> she's been, no. she's been goosing for her favorite puppy hog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's great. You shouldn't be allowed to <laughs> say that. Oh, no, <laughs> like, like, there's like a there's like a combination of words that like hasn't been said yet that's going to unlock the, the eighth dimension. <laughs> yeah. That and we, we got close just that now. We got the Da Vinci needs... Code. Well, shit. I, sorry, I was going to segue into something, and then it left my brain. I, it's gone now. I actually want to come back around to something, because I feel like you didn't get your piece, and I actually think it's pretty interesting. Oh, I just wanted to How mold. does an entire esports company and production company not put a little more e- sauce e- into that? Effort into their roasts? Yeah, I, I'm I don't surprised. Know. They have I, just like, have about, so many tools at Talking about the roast of Soda Pop and that happened, which echoes the roast of Hassan that happened earlier on. I think you're misunderstanding are hosted it. at the, right, the Cash App Compound, yeah. right? I don't think uh, 100 Thieves, I don't think, had anything to do. Sure. Really. I, I don't think really? so either. But oh. I, I'm more saying there is a level of access to resources that whoever is putting it on has, if it's Austin or whoever, and they're severely underutilizing it because they're just kind of like throwing shit into a, a room. And it's like, I, I get mad at it because I'm like, damn, the potential here is fucking crazy. I Literally think, put a laugh track. I think what and surprises me is like when you guys put you together the Ludwig roast, it was so like hodgepodge, <laughs> like put together. <laughs> like a lot of the components were last minute. The production company was like pretty fresh to what they were doing. So I feel, and considering the way it turned out, I was like really impressed. So I'm surprised that. Like the needle isn't. There's a there's a deadness. At least a matching. There's a deadness to those productions, and I don't like it. I, I think guess. I think we also come from a live broadcast background and maybe have a more critical eye. Well, I genuinely think that if 
you wanted to take it to the level that like because the roast format is a very very specific thing and when yeah. it's not hitting that and then it falls into the sort of the unca- uncanny valley zone of like this is like the casual live streamer aspect trying to make a professional event yeah, type thing yeah. happen but what you could do is you could literally advertise it in advance get <laughs> right a studio like a like an actual theater yeah of sorts and then sell tickets and have an actual audience. Yeah, that's with, like a with great microphones point. <laughs> because you would you would make money back on the tickets, and that could help fund the event, and it would make it less dead. Yeah, there, I think, there's I think a lot what, of effort not being. Put and there's forth also like, that's what it is exactly. It's effort, and yeah, then stre- a lot of streamer work. brain goes effort, and then if they don't have a person, if they don't have a slime that they can be like, hey, go do effort, then it just happens. However, is most convenient and quick. If you're a streamer, get yourself a slime. I think it Sweet would be 800 it's slime also, now. It's also getting a bunch of streamers to do something is just that's hard. That's true. Together. I, I think yeah. that's a really like good getting point. Getting that too. group to show up to a thing that sounds like like much more responsibility, much more stage, which means your jokes need to be like cuz like a lot of people didn't even know their jokes cuz they had writers until like the day of or day before. And it Which still is typical. Out. I I heard people getting shit for that. That's like actually typical. Yeah. So, if you're a fucking LSF Pussy, th- you mean nothing. That's you know normal. I, but I, I think they yeah, would have signed up if it was like s- ticket sold, live audience. Like really? I think it would have been more stressed, more nervous. So does uh, so does family. Yeah, they were their delivery was great. Oh, they were great. Yeah. How many how many pe- how many viewers were watching the soda pop and fifty k fifty k? But if you think about it this way, you'd have what is that one percent of an audience of five hundred people? That's yeah. like a one percent of the same amount of people. Yeah. You mean if you, what do you say? You, you could person? also broadcast the live event if you're talking about 500. people. Well, no, I mean in event. terms of like you being nervous being on stage. I mean, you're, it's you, just you, different. I, it's way it's way harder, and any streamer would be dumb as bricks if they'd be like, "Yeah, I could do stand up. I stream in front of 10,000 people." That's true. <laughs> no, oh yeah, it, it is for, for sure. They get yeah. in front of a stand up crowd, they would fucking choke. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, it's just I, a totally different skill set. Though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like totally different. Yeah. Like how Brandon Wardell isn't funny except on Twitter. I know. You know what? That's a hard I, one. I actually was a believer in this for a long time. I think he has changed. I think he is now funny both. Dude, you know what streamers? I think he's funnier on Twitter. Who are though? streamers that you think There's could a streamer do stand-up? That's not fucking, well, I was going to say not funny at all. Okay, we'll say that <laughs> yeah, first. Like, in one. real life. Well, this one. I'll save it for the bonus. All right. Save it for the bonus episode? <laughs> save it for the bonus episode. Hey, if you guys want to check it out, I'll be on patreon.com forward slash the yard. Available and, uh, now. And before we go, Ted Nivison, thank you so much. For hanging out with us, yeah, if you really could, nice if you could come. plug one thing about you and your universe and your life, do but it. Only do one. it now. Do it now to that guy right there. Go listen to the other podcast that I'm on, Chuckle Sandwich. Tell me when to stop, Ted. <laughs> You're I'm, at a side angle. Ted, you are please. at a side Ted, angle. Come Ted, on, come on, and, bro. Until until from this angle, the 2D vision I'm seeing right now. Okay, well now we're way past. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Woo! Later.